Whenever you're ready. Previously on Comedy Bang Bang. Ackerman. Scott Ackerman. Hey, hey, no, man. Hello. It's me, Frank Stallone. How's it going, everybody? Pump it up. Poet Laureate of the West. The Bachelor Brothers. Brothers. Fuck. It's like boom, bang, bam. Hi, I'm pregnant. It's not that kind of a show. I'm ball droid. I gotta roll on out of here. I'm hungry. I was looking for scraps. Chupa, Kavita. <laughs> Hello, gum shoes. Hee <laughs> hee. Bring out the girls. It's been a while. Tick tock. Of all the friends of the show. Paul F. Tompkins. Who's the best? Let me know. Lauren Lapkins. Crazy characters and classic fun. Hey, hey! Who do you choose? Who's the one? King Cos. <laughs> bang, bang, your favorite F. Little choices. Bang, bang, by request. Well, you bet your fucking ass it is. <laughs> it's the show that's made for you. Is it? That's because um. you make it too. Ooh, what was that noise? Ugh. Ew. Yeah, it sounds like hell. Uh, Impossible <laughs> to listen to. Goodbye, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> that's a great sound. And this is a trucking great song. Hump, hump, truck's birthday. Hump, hump, truck's birthday. Day. Memphis, Kansas Breeze. More from them later on Bang Bang by request. Yeah, yeah. G'day, I'm Brendan Roberts with the show for the fans, by the fans of CBB, the world's podcast. Comedy Bang Bang World, that is. The show with lots of favourite moments, guests, characters, episodes. What are yours? Comment below or to be on the show, email me babyfacebren at gmail.com. That's what Bingham did in Louisiana, in the United States. Bingham Giamolva. Yes. How are you? I'm doing well, my friend. Doing well. Now, Bingham's not your real name. No. Did you I tell you the story? You told me it was a nickname. You don't have to say your real name. I, you know, people might stalk you, you know, so. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> um, no, yeah, no, my, 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 my real name is, is Benjamin. And whenever uh-huh. I was born, my sister couldn't say that, and she was 22 months old, and right. she couldn't say Benjamin, so she said Bingham, and the name stuck, and so that's now what I go by, you know, professionally. Everywhere. My mom calls me that. That's cool. There's a lot of uh, instances I've heard of that happening where a, a sibling, a younger sibling, will get the name wrong, and that kind of just sticks. It's cute. Bingham. What you live in uh, Baton Rouge? That's on the Mississippi, Louisiana. What, what what are some fun things to do in Baton Rouge? I'm having a look at the Google page, and it's the, the state capital. Is that worth seeing? Yeah, the capital's cool. Um, it's 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 got some history. I think Mark Twain called it the ugliest building on on the Mississippi. Um, <laughs> Good old you can go and check that out. <laughs> Yeah, there's some there's some good restaurants. There's good bars. There's good libraries. Yeah, there's you good got a live zoo. music. You know, you got a we, zoo. I see. We got a zoo. We're, we're in the deep south, but it's um, you yeah. know, we still got some of the main stuff. And there's a big boat. Yeah, the the USS Kid. As a as a kid, I would go and like have sleepovers on it, and we tell ghost stories and everything. That was right. um, that was a pretty fun experience. Cool. Now, um, Bingham, what do you do for a crust, as we say, down under? What do you do for a job? I work in insurance. I'm an admin at an insurance company. Right. It seems to me that, and you know, I'm using two people as an example, you and Ryan from a few weeks ago, uh, it seems that the CBB fans I've spoken to so far are in kind of I'm not going to say boring jobs because that's sort of an insult and every job can have something of interest, but um, an admin kind of jobs. It, it is. Do you think it's a way, CBB, Comedy Bang Bang, is a way of escaping, just going a bit crazy? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I wasn't even going to let you finish that sentence. Absolutely, yes. I, I, I do have a, a boring job, and if if I could, I'd listen to CBB all day. Uh, I can't, unfortunately, but it definitely is like my popcorn. You know, it's my it's my go to comfort thing, and it's um yeah, it's definitely something that I really enjoy and 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 listen to as often as I can. Uh, how long have you been a comedy Bang Bang fan? Twenty. 20- 13. Cool. Yeah, so the best of episode 2013 is when I first got introduced to it. That's the same year that I got into the show. 
And it's it's just kind of weird to think that even then it was already going four years. Uh, and yeah, like I, you know. I, I kind of missed the whole James Adomian part of it, and I kind of picked up around that time. Yeah, and that, and I and I. I kind of stumbled upon it on Funny or Die, actually, the website, okay. funnierdie.com. Yep. And it's because I would watch, um, what would I, what's that thing that Scott directed? Um, Between Two Ferns. Oh, yeah, I would watch yeah. Between Two Ferns, the shorts, and, um, or whatever they were, little episodes. And so yeah, I would yeah. go to that web. This, this was back when you would go to individual websites to watch different videos. You know, it's yeah. not like all YouTube like it is now. Um, yeah. But I would go to Funny or Die, watch, watch the, um, the between two ferns and then in like an advertisement banner thing above the videos it's like hey do you like this check out comedy bang bang cool so that's kind of how I, I got introduced to it now we probably should play something because i don't want to get into the same trap i did with ryan where i talked for 45 yeah minutes. so let's start with your favorite friend of the show so your favorite guest of scott or you know you can mention a few but as I've told you, you do have to then single out one, which is very difficult, I know, and I can't do it. I, know I shouldn't really be asking other people to do it, but go for it. Yeah, so I really like, in the earlier episodes, I really liked Nathan Fielder. John Hamm is always solid. He, one of my favorite things that he did was with, um, whenever PFT was playing, uh, John... C. Riley. Oh, man, what... T. Riley, that yeah. was so funny. That, yeah. that dynamic was great. But and Tatiana Maslany is probably up there for me, for 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 her appearances, just because they're such great friends and she can get real silly, and that's always enjoyable. Yep. Now let's play that um, John Ham, John C. Riley, the acting off, because I just think it's wonderful, and just the way everyone just hangs it on poor. John C. <laughs> I would love to see an acting off, you know, between the two Johns. I would love to see who's the more powerful. Give us a monologue, actor. Give us a monologue right now. Give us a monologue. All right, I do think Engineer Joe has a uh, monologue from uh, As You Like It, the famous uh, What's that? Shakespearean. What's that? Really, you don't know Shakespeare? That's surprising to me. Honestly. I know. I know Shakespeare is. You don't know that he wrote a play called As You Like It, one of his comedies. You know, one, of, one of the conspiracies I've uncovered was that it wasn't William Shakespeare. Really? Who, who was it? the bottom of that burning issue. Who was it? It then? was the Earl of Oxford. Huh. Which Edward Shakespeare, de Vere. Which Shakespeare play did uh, Baz Luhrmann write? He, he wrote, wrote Ro Romeo plus Juliet? Yeah, that was it. Did you ever see that? It was very uh, it was powerful. All right, so we have this monologue up. Now, who who goes first? Do we need to flip a coin? Oh, he can go first. Oh, okay. I'm cool John, with that. John, oh, John Hamm goes first. This is a monologue from As You Like It, and let's hear the powerful acting of John Hamm, uh, actor extraordinaire from St. Louis, taught acting to uh, young children in St. Louis, and then now, this became, is gonna this is gonna lose a little bit on the radio because became a what star you're not seeing right. is my. Uh, my powerful brooding. Your physicality is important that's, to a character. That's starting right now. However, I've closed my eyes when I watch Mad Men, usually because I'm doing laundry, and I do that with my that's eyes closed. That's hard to do. <laughs> You're folding my speed. What character are you going to be reading for us? Adam. This is Adam. All right, and he comes riding in on a sleigh. <laughs> Thank you, sleigh master. And begin. What? My young master, oh my gentle master, oh my sweet master, oh you memory of old Sir Roland, why what make you here? Why are you virtuous? Why do people love you? And wherefore are you gentle, strong, and valiant? Why would you be so fond to overcome the bonny prizer of the humorous duke? Your praise has come too swiftly home before you. No, you're not, master. To some kind of men, their graces serve them but as enemies. No more to yours. Your virtues, gentle master, are sanctified and holy traitors to you. Oh, what a world is this, when what is comely envenoms him that bears it. I think we have a winner. I think he won. Yeah, what? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That was definitely yeah. good. Hold on a second. Yeah. That was definitely yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Really shut the up. Best. Everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was the best Don't one. Don't tell me. Oh, you shut, shut the fuck John up. John C. Riley, you're not my commanding officer. Listen. John. John. Yeah. The, the stage is yours. Thank you. Let me. Right. He rides in on the sleigh. <laughs> I'll take off my sweats. And of course I'm wearing a leotard. 
Go. What, my young master? Start whenever you're ready. Oh, my. <laughs> you know what? Listen. <laughs> you gotta. Res you better respect the cr the craft, Doug. You gotta respect the craft. This is not, this is not done. This is not done. What you're doing. Would it help Just if we had Will Ferrell and Adam McKay in here holding your hands? <laughs> oh, oh, boy. oh snap. man, boy. Oh, maybe uh, if uh, Matthew Weiner. Matthew Weiner. What? <laughs> That's the guy that. Just say Weiner. Holds his <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> What, my young master? Oh, my gentle master. Oh, my awesome master. Oh, you memory of old Sir Roland. Why? What make you here? Why virtuous? Why do people love you? And wherefore are you gentle, strong, and awesome? Why would you be so fond to overcome the awesome prizer of the awesome duke? Your praise has come to swiftly home before you. No, you're not, Master. It's just some kind of man. The grace of serve them but his enemies. No more to yours. Your virtues, gentle master. Awesome and holy traitors to you. <laughs> oh, what a world is this? When what is awesome and venoms him? The, the bears it. I'm, look, I'm crying real tears. Oh, Look at how I'm crying real tears. Oh my gosh, get a close up on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't use a, uh, uh, one of those uh, menthol things. And I don't, yeah, thank get, you, let's Super get a, Let's get a microphone right by those tears. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you hear them dripping <laughs> into a pan, <laughs> wow. a basin? That was a giant tear. Yeah, I have a tear basin that I carry around. <laughs> <laughs> a tear spittoon? A tear <laughs> ewer? <laughs> Uh, Are you, is that so, wait? Is there that was it? That's it. That was it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Anytime I cry real tears, that's the end of the monologue. <laughs> <laughs> really, you just stop in the middle of a sentence. Everybody vote for either right, John C. Riley or the winner. Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> let's let's go around. Let's uh, let's take it around from Doug Benson. Who do all you right. vote for? I think we should do this by silent uh, <laughs> auction. So? Should we all put our heads down and then uh, I'll yeah, count? Yeah, turn out the lights, Engineer Joe. Turn out the lights. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're turning out the lights. Everyone put their heads down on the uh, d on your desks like now, it's heads up seven up. Whoever votes for me. And uh, yes, Dad, if you vote, if you vote for me, John, are you saying? John, I can hear I'm you. I'm just what? I can hear you. Everybody, to everybody, name John Ham. Take your headphones off. <laughs> Listen. Oh, okay. They're off. Everybody votes for me. Wait, I took mine off. Am no, I? No, you're not. Your name is not John. Oh, okay. Here Wait, how did you hear me? <laughs> Back on. If you if you vote for me, it's a vote for uh, nice guys. All right. So just keep that in mind when you when you're voting. And also remember, I have a sticker for everybody that votes that says I voted for John C. Wiley. <laughs> okay, let's keep that in mind as we vote. Everybody the lights like, the lights have been out for the right. last sixty seconds. No, well, it's scary. In I there. know. Right, this is Can I put my headphones back on now? Yeah, sure. Wait. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, John has his headphones back. We we're all able to hear each other, but we can't see each other. That's right. But so I have, it could be anybody. Yeah, I have my night uh, vision goggles on though, so I can I have mine. I can record. The, no, wait, you should not be wearing yours what? because then that way the vote would not be. They're secret. just resting on my forehead, cool style. Oh, okay, like you look, mystery. Yeah, you look like from mystery. the pickup artist. <laughs> I was gonna say, that. Uh, I'm peacocking with my hair. <laughs> so a lot of people think it's a hat, a furry mystery hat. It's nope. my hair. It's just my hair. <laughs> it's very exciting. Thank you. It's like a roller coaster. Roller coaster. <laughs> okay. Now, everyone, you have your heads down, and it's and it's dark. Everyone who would like to vote for John C. How are Riley. you going to see our votes? I have it's my dark. night vision goggles on. Oh, it's already I wasn't established, paying attention Stoner. That, sorry. Doug, come on. <laughs> sorry, John. You're very disruptive with this whole process. You're like, uh, like this is like doing elections in Iran. All right. Topical. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> Doug, Doug loves movies. Why are we criticizing the er elections in Iran when we can't even have fair elections in this country? All right. So now we'll... <laughs> everyone who voted for John C. Riley, raise your hands. I voted for John C. Riley. No, no, no. Well, thank you, but fun. still. I, I vote for John C. Riley. Wh what? Who is that? Who is that? Is that a ghost? <laughs> turn the lights on! <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, John turn the lights on. Okay. John Hamm, your, your hand John, is up. Are you saying you voted for me for the acting contest? I, I did. I voted for you. I thought you brought a lot to that and uh, made it made it your own. But I've treated you so poorly. <laughs> it's okay, man. You know what? You're being the bigger guy here, and I feel like a real jerk. What? Are you crying real tears, John Hamm? <laughs> <laughs> I am. And I, so is it okay if I use your 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 tear basin? Of course it is. We we're both actors. We gotta stick together. So what if you just work exclusively in television, pretty much? And I'm 
on the silver screen on the Broadway stage opposite people like Philip Seymour Hoffman doing a version of True West where we switch roles every night. <laughs> That's that, a lot that, of track delay. A... <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I wow. voted for one Hamon. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do we have a winner? Have you, guys it... you know what? I almost uh, like, you know who the winner I, is. I think the winner. Shut up, Scott. Well, do you know who the you who, know who the winner who's, who's is? Who's the winner? The mm-hmm. audience. Oh. True. They got to hear some great acting. True. True. By wow. the bar. You know what the second winner is? Who? Friendship. You know who the thir- I almost want to make that the first winner. You know who's the third winner? Christmas. <laughs> and who's yeah. the fourth musketeer? Who's the, who's the, the D'Artagnan winner. of winners? Boops. Now I would like <laughs> I'd like John Hamm to sing the uh, invisible song about being invisible from Chicago. Go. Okay, here we go. Mr. Cellophane. That song by John Hamm. <laughs> it's about being see through, not invisible. Just you know, just make sorry. Well, well uh, let's did you have to be see through on the Mr. set every day? That was, uh, character um, by being that was that was that was doing it. Name, He's doing Mr. it. He actually is doing it. Fame, <laughs> you, what a wonderful <laughs> voice you have. <laughs> it's like a, a young Carol right Channing. It's come to life. Me. Someone He's get Rob Marshall the, on the He's even doing the finger choreography. All right. Because I wanted to see if frogs would fall out of the sky. <laughs> Is that going to happen now? That's a thing that happens. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with Bingham from Baton Rouge, and we've just heard uh, one of his favorite guests of the show, friends of the show, I should say, John Hamm, and um, Paul F. Tompkins playing John C. Riley in the acting off. And, and that was one of the clips to Bingham, one of the, the episodes that, that really got me into it. It was one that I had, I went back to because I said 2013 was when I got into the show. And the great thing about coming into a show four years in is that you've got four years of episodes to go back and listen to. Um, Ryan, who was on a few weeks ago, didn't get into 2019. So that's a real treasure trove of backlog that you can go back to. And I always say as a great selling point, the comedy bang, bang world, there's like, um, 130 live episodes now there that have never been part of the regular stream, which is, it's like two years of episodes, two years of new episodes, and it's just so great. But yeah, the 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 later you get into it, I guess, the better because of all the, the binging that you can do. We were talking about Tatiana Maslany. Do you know how she let Lauren Lapkus know? Because I think the first person she talked to from Comedy Bang Bang was Lauren. And I guess they met at a function or something. She went up to Lauren, and do you know what she did to to let her know she was a fan of Comedy Bang Bang? Tell me. She sang the Hollywood Facts theme. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Hollywood Facts. Clock. Nice. Well, it's Hollywood Facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Everybody do your facts and know your stars. There's glitz and glamour and lots of bars. Get a drink at a club. Then go walk in front of Chinese theater. Hollywood Facts. Take out your dick. Check out the facts. It's the Hollywood Facts. Bro. <laughs> All three of us are on the track. <laughs> yeah, nice. Your weed nice. guy's on the track. Yes, right? this is fun. <laughs> I don't know if you should. You, I don't think you should reuse that. <laughs> oh, I think we should. Uh, think well, I'll play it by ear. Uh, Why? <laughs> All right. Was so, the, were the levels okay? <laughs> yeah, levels are great. Great. That's the original Hollywood facts theme with Andy Sandberg and Adam Pally, and Scott used that for the Hollywood facts segment. When Andy Sandberg returned, Lauren Lapkus was on the show as well. And they did the Hollywood facts theme over and over and over till they got it right. And until we all got it right, because we heard it so many times as well. And I guess so did Tatiana Maslany. And what a cool way to meet Lauren Lapkus, to go up to her at a party and do the Hollywood facts theme for her. Good song. Todd, what do you think? If we listen to it 17 more times, we can memorize it. Let's hear it one more time. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. 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 Well, it's Hollywood Facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Everybody do your facts and know your stars. There's glitz and glamour and lots of bars. Get a drink at a club. Then go walk in front of the Chinese theater. Hollywood Facts. Take out your dicks. Check out the facts. It's the Hollywood Facts, bro. 
Can I'm we there. all do it once without the music and try to say it? All right, here we go. Ooh, that's much better. Bam. Okay, first it goes, nice. Boom, 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 boom. Well, well it's Hollywood, Hollywood facts. facts. Going, going downtown, downtown, going to Inglewood now. <laughs> there's lots of <laughs> glamour. Glitz or glitz there's glitz and glamour and, and lots, lots of, of stars. Clubs. Clubs? Bars. No, no, and lots, lots of, of stars. Bars. And then it goes to bars. Lots of stars. Lots of bars. And, and lots of bars. Going down I Chinese. Well, we got to hear it one more time. <laughs> nice. Well, it's Hollywood facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Everybody do your facts and know your stars. There's glitz and glamour and lots of bars. Get a drink at a club. Then go walk in front of Chinese theater. Hollywood facts. Okay. Check out your dick. Check out the facts. All right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Nice. Well, it's Hollywood facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Well, you gotta do your facts and know your stars. Get a drink at a bar. Get a bunch of drinks. And I gotta hear it again. This is excruciating. Gotta hear it again. Hey, Sam. Sam. Nice. Well, it's Hollywood facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Everybody do your facts and know your stars. There's glitz and glamour and lots of bars. All right, shut up. <laughs> Everybody know your facts and, and know your, your stars. stars. There's, There's glitz and glitz glamour, glamour and, and lots, lots of bars. Stars. Lots of bars. Yeah, here we go. Nice. nice. Dun, 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 dun. Well, it's Hollywood facts, and, and we're going, going downtown. downtown. Going, going to Inglewood now. Got to know your facts and know your stars. There's glitz and glamour and lots of bars. <laughs> Let's hear it again. Get a drink at a club. club. And walk in front, in front of, of the, the Chinese, Chinese theater. Walk outside. No, got to hear it again. Now walk out. <laughs> no. Nice. Well, it's Hollywood facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Everybody do your facts and know your stars. There's glitz and glamour and lots of bars. Get a drink at a club. Then go walk in front of Chinese theater. Got it. Got Hollywood right, facts. Nice. <laughs> well, it's Hollywood facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Got to know your facts and know your stars. Do your facts, isn't it? Yeah, do your everybody facts. Everybody know. Everybody know facts. Everybody do your facts and you know your stars. You gotta do your facts and know hey, let's your hear stars. It again. <laughs> gotta do your facts. Nice. Well, it's Hollywood facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Everybody do your facts and know your stars. There's glitz and Cut glamour out. and... Everybody do your facts. Everybody do your facts. And know your stars. And know your stars. There's glitz and glamour and lots of bars. Get a drink, Get a drink at a club and then go walk, walk in, in front, front of, of the Chinese, Chinese theater. theater. Hollywood, Hollywood facts. Take out your dick. dick. Okay, here we go. Nice. Doom, 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 doom. Well, it's Hollywood facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Everybody do your facts and know your stars. Glitz and glamour and lots of bars. Get a drink at a club. And then walk in front of the Chinese theater. Hollywood facts. Take out your dicks. Hollywood facts. Check out your facts. It's the Hollywood. Fuck. Let's we'll the never end? get this. Check out the facts. It's the Hollywood that really, facts. That was really bro. good. Check out the facts. It's the Hollywood facts, bro. That's as good as it's going to get. Felt really satisfying. Nice. Doom, 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 doom. Well, it's Hollywood facts, and we're going downtown. Going to Inglewood now. Everybody do your facts and know your stars. There's glitz and glamour and lots of bars. Get a drink at a club. And then walk in front of the Chinese theater. Hollywood facts. Take, Take out, out your dicks. dicks. Check out, out the facts. It's the Hollywood facts, bro. Out. Nailed it. <laughs> so, John Hamm, Tatiana Maslany, Nathan Fielder. Is one of them your favorite? I, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Tatiana just because everyone seems to be having so much fun. And I feel yeah. like I'm part of the fun, you know? Cool. Good choice. Tatiana Maslany. Do you have a favorite moment of hers? That you could think of. There's a live episode that's that's good. I, I, they are like at they're so, they're at um, Comic Con. I think it might be the first one when I and that's when I first got introduced to her. And I'm like, these people are, because I think it's her and Christian. I'm like these people are, you know, they're they're good guests. I like them. 
Yeah, the first few I think Christian's on, and then and since then Christian Bruin, we're talking about uh, her co-star in Orphan Black. They've done, um, he's done a few on his own, and uh, of course she's done a few without him. But the first few, you're right. I'm just looking at them now. One, two, three. Her first three appearances on Comedy Bang Bang were with Christian. The first episode was the Chasman and Sunny episode. Good night in the morning. I think that was the first oh, yeah. appearance of That's Jasmine and Sunny. All right. Well, let's play a bit of that now to cover your favourite friend of the show, Tatiana Maslany, appearing here with Christian Brun, her orphan black co-star, Paul F. Tompkins, Lauren Lapkus, and host Scott Ockerman, episode 377, Good Night in the Morning, with Tatiana Maslany, Bingham's favourite friend of the show. <laughs> but this is a great day to uh, be listening to the podcast because it, it's finally happening. We have a couple of Canucks sitting here. And uh, the, uh, they, they have been fans of the show. They came uh, out to see the San Diego show dressed in costume. The only ones dressed in costume. Uh, what a commitment to uh, the craft. Um, the, you know them from the uh, television show. It's uh, entitled Arfin Black. <laughs> and is that the correct pronunciation, by the way? That's Arfin? Like Canadian pronunciation. Is that yeah. really how you would say it in Canada? It's wow. Like a for O. Uh, we have yeah. Tatiana Maslany and Kristen Brun. Christian Brun. You can call me Kristen if, if you what, want. Which is it? Is it Christian or Christian? It's Christian. It's a, man, it's a man's name. Why do you spell it the way? It's, it's spelled with a K because it's Norwegian. It's, a, oh. it's the Norwegian spelling of Say a man's no more. name. Say no more. Yeah. But it is a man's name. And you are? What is your I gender? A you a are man. a male. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, and Tatiana, welcome. Uh, you play several characters on Arfin Black. Yeah. Uh, you play the titular Arfin. The, the, all the Arfins, really. <laughs> yeah. Are they all Arfins? They are. Well, I've some never of thought them about have that. parents. Yeah, some have parents. But they're all kind of... Like test tube. Babies, still, just because so. you have parents doesn't mean you're not an orphan. That's so true. <laughs> yeah. That's the question that we pose. What yeah. does the title mean? <laughs> the title, <laughs> no idea. Yeah. It's, wait, wait. it's enigmatic. It's mysterious. Because Sarah is the one that's in the black. She went <clears throat> missing. She was the orphan that they couldn't find. Yeah. Oh, is that what it she is? That's one, exactly yeah. what it is. Do you think? And the it doesn't stand for the two children of Allison and Donnie who are are black Both and orphans. we're not, and they're orphan black. See. Yeah, in a, different, in a different way. I've had a lot of people point that out to me. I was like, oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> never thought about that. No. <laughs> Do you think in the final episode, someone is going to say, you know what? Those orphans were truly black. Yeah. And then fade to black. That's like a long line. fade, too. Long like a fade. five minute long fade to black. <laughs> that was the first line that, that Graham Manson, the showrunner, wrote. And he's mm. playing. He worked backwards yeah. From, yeah. from there. That'll be the last of the last season. All yeah. leading oh, up to that. And how many seasons will that be? Is it like Bonanza, twenty-five years? You think? Yes, I think so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got the energy sustain. to do that. Yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. I have nothing else I want to do. No, no. you guys are, are buddies. You play. Uh, is that fair to say? Buddies, yes. Uh, yes, in real life. Yeah. Yes. And in uh, in the show, you play a married couple. Uh, Mar one married of the characters, buddies. Tatiana, that you play is is married yep. to yes. Christian, the man. <laughs> the, the man. The man Christian. And uh, uh, Donnie is the name. That's right. And nice. Sarah? No. No, no Sarah's the, uh, the, Allison. the... Yeah, Allison. Allison's right, 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 right. a soccer mom. Yeah. Sarah's the, the musical the loving tough. soccer mom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, you guys hadn't met before? No. We no. Met is this that. your card? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you guys didn't know each other before the show started. No, no I think we met the first day of shooting. We, for your first day My of first shooting. day of shooting, yeah, which was the third episode of the first season. Yeah. I don't think I said hi to you for like two months. She, you refused to so... speak to me unless it was, I was the camera just, was rolling. Yeah, that was it. I was <laughs> yeah. like, because you're busy, you know? Yes, you, I have yeah. a lot of things to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, what number are you guys on the call sheet? You're like one through eighteen. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you do different characters on <laughs> they, the call sheet? They do, and I, I think initially oh. they they kind of not realize those were all played by the same person, so they <laughs> were scheduling me like ridiculous hours. <laughs> oh my just god! Just thinking, oh well, that's okay. She goes home at that point, and then number two comes in. But I was all of those. <laughs> oh my god! She was yeah. like one through five in the first season, and like sixty. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, right. Wow. I was 49. Died. You're 49? I think I was 49. And then I moved, moved, moved up. They you moved you 30, up. Yeah, you moved 39 on up. now, I think. I'm, I think that was season two. Oh, what are you And then you know? season three, I might have been like 21. Oh. Whoa. So maybe this season I'll be like, 
maybe I'll just be in the single digits. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. No, I won't. I won't. I'll be I don't. Like, I already saw a, a day out of days, and you're not. I'm oh, sorry. Son of a, I'm gonna flip this table. Yeah, flip it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you guys are filming the fourth season right now, or you haven't started yet? You start in a, in week. a week. In a week. Or in like five. Yeah. In or a no, week in from a week. today. A week from today. Well, I mean, you know, when people are hearing from this, this today. from this today. Yeah. Okay, right. So, uh, uh, obviously, it's a big hit. Uh, it's uh, Tatiana, you, you're Emmy nominated, and you took yeah. the gold home last night. I and, did. It was uh, great. It's great, Remember isn't it? All those moments that happened. Oh, those oh. great moments yeah. up there on stage. It, it, I mean, it was a little embarrassing what happened at first. I can't believe I did that initially. <laughs> but then after that, but then you after saved I it. saved it. Yeah. It was really touching at the end what you said. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, it was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, and Christian, you'll get there. But what? <laughs> <laughs> but what? Uh, uh, it's it's a fun show, right? I mean, uh, 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 Tatiana, you are just. I, I can't imagine your schedule. Mm. Do they? You know, I mean, I see. I, I saw one episode recently where you played. I think you played five in the actual episode. Plus, you were singing in a musical. Mm. You, you know, which you had to rehearse. I would imagine, unless yeah, you were just freestyling it. No, I just improvised the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, no, it was, yeah, we had rehearsals for that, which was like the greatest moment of my life. Yeah, are I'm you such a... such a musical nerd. Really? What's your favorite? Into the Woods. Into the Woods. Let's hear a little bit of it right now. <laughs> Tatiana? <laughs> with the baker's wife. Oh, the baker's wife. I never played the baker's wife. What did you play? You played, I played Little Red. She played oh, every other like, role in you that musical. You can't That's acapella Sondheim. It's really hard. Into the Woods. Into the Woods. <laughs> That's true. That's, That's all you gotta very do. true. <laughs> Nothing's going to harm you. <laughs> um, that's fantastic. Did they write that into the show because you were a big musical fan and, and you wanted to do something fun? No, I think I think they just liked putting Allison in like the most ridiculous situations, mm -hmm, and she mm -hmm. was sort of like falling off the wagon at that point. Yeah. So they're like, and What's literally going? falling off the stage. The stage. Yeah. Although yeah. I don't know what figuratively falling off the stage would be. <laughs> figuratively, <laughs> which what I did at the Emmys. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, That's we didn't. I yeah. promised I wouldn't bring it, it up. up. But. Um, <laughs> and what's uh, take us through season four. What's going to happen in episode one? What's yeah. going to happen in episode two? <laughs> so on, so on, until episode ten. I think we're killing off a clone per episode. Yeah. No spoilers, but we're going to kill <laughs> a clone per episode. Okay, good. That's not a spoiler, though. No, no. no. It's so to be expected. It's season four. That you kill everybody sure. off in season four. Everything yeah. goes crazy in season it's four. Like a right? reset. You know? yeah. All the actors reset. are bored. Yeah. You're looking for fun stuff to do. Yeah. And then you do like a five year hiatus, then you come back with Orphan Black Reborn, I think. Yes. I mean, have you, I think about that on my show all the time. The sooner I stop it, the sooner I can get to the reunion. Exactly. Yeah. And you all know? that nostalgia you can just bank on. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Perfect. That's where the money's at. Um, it, it's a great show. It really is a fantastic show, and you guys are doing the Lord's work, uh, bringing content to the people. Thank you so much. Um, you ten episodes stay. in season four. Ten. And when do when does uh, when's it premiere? Probably April. March ish, April. I think April. April and Mar March, April. Yeah, April. usually April. Yes. And, and how do people people who don't know about it? We've talked about clones for a while. Mm -hmm. It's about. Clones and well, but really, it's more about the human condition, isn't it? I mean, it's like that question, that eternal question of who am I? Right, it's great. What am great. I? Great. Um, no, but the uh, uh, in one sentence or less, oh God. <clears throat> try to describe the show. Go less, go less, less, less. less. <laughs> clones meeting, meeting each, other, each other, discovering, discovering who, who they, they are. are. I think that's less than a sentence. You yeah. didn't really. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't like start it with any kind of beginning subject of sentence. or no. No. yeah, a lot of predicate in yeah. there. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, Tatiana, you play how many different characters have you played on the show at this point? Eight? No, no. There's been like a few dud, duds, duds, <laughs> dead, dead, duds, duds. <laughs> dead duds. They killed off. Do you ever like? Do you ever go into the producers and go, "I got a new one," and then like yeah, and audition then I, like, a new pitch it for them, right? <laughs> with a wig. I have you're a like, box of wigs that I just carry around with me. You like open it up and you're like, "Who yeah. am I today?" Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Is there an accent that you're not good at that you are like, "Oh boy, I hope they don't any write. like Scottish or Irish." Okay, let's hear it. Let's. Oh you, yeah. God! All you gotta do is just do a Shrek imitation. Donkey. There you go. <laughs> You're right. It's so easy. <laughs> this is why you won the Emmy down. last night. Yeah, exactly. Congratulations. Remember when I pulled out all those accents on yeah. stage? Why did you do that in your speech, though? Just to show off. What okay. if that clone literally had to say donkey at the beginning of every <laughs> sentence just to, like, trigger you just into... Just like, this as, like, the in, the in phrase? You were just kind of muttering it. You were like, <laughs> donkey. So what... <laughs> 
Um, and uh, uh, what what else is in the works for you? I mean, you're out here in L.A. and uh, are you going to see the sign, the Hollywood sign? I mean, that's you know what I mean. I saw it from when I parked to come here. I just saw it through the window of my rental Prius. <laughs> so I, I saw it. Why? You, and you're renting a Prius while you're out here. They, that's what they gave me. I was so excited. I've never been in a Prius before. Really? How, do, how how's it handle? You turn it on, and it doesn't sound like it's on. Whoa! Mm. All it says is ready. So you turn. The key. <laughs> I guess you guys are all used to it. It's not impressive to you guys because everybody is issued one in California. Well, I did hear that when those ca- those came out, that there was going to be a, an uptick in accidents because you can't hear it when you're. You know, like you're you're walking. People are pedestrians, right? Mm. Are just walking down the sidewalk and they can't hear an you oncoming Prius. Yeah. yeah, scary. Have you hit anyone yet? Am I allowed to say? Yeah, sure. You know, yeah. I, you know, I'll be out of the country by the time this plays. Yeah, I've hit tons of people. We don't have any and extradition with more. Canada, right? No, no, no. Okay, fine. good. Um, fantastic. And what do you uh, what are you driving, Tatiana, while you're out I'm, here? Oh my god, I'm driving a Jaguar. What? Uh, a Jaguar? Jaguar. Really? Did you request that or did you? Uh, uh, I think it's yeah, like an did. agent thing. Face. No, it's not. I wasn't like, Is that in I your... must drive this two-seater. Is Ridiculous. it in your rider or anything? It's, or yeah, I am the rider of of, it. The, of the actual Jaguar. <laughs> yeah. how's, how's that handling? It handles like a like a dreamy like a GD dream? thing. Yeah, it's great. Wow. I don't I'm... realize I'm where I am by the time I'm there. <laughs> really? You know so I mean? you're you're mentally like I'm already five like, minutes behind. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Just so just so you're playing catch up. Yeah. <laughs> how, how how what's the top speed you've you've opened this up to? I opened up that baby at fifty. Fifty right here. Kilometers or miles per hour? I think it was K. Okay. <laughs> it was oh, kilometers. okay. Are you guys, you guys are used <laughs> like, to that? Practically very. K, you know, what is that? What is that in miles? Do we know? <laughs> is it forty? It's like thirty four. <laughs> No, is it less? Is miles less? We sound like less. idiots miles right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it miles is, less. is way less. Yeah. Um, that's fascinating, yeah. man. I've never driven one of those. Is it nice? Go for it. Oh, really? Give it a shot. All it's right. In the We're going to take take a break. And when <laughs> we come back, no, of course we have to get to our next guest. I mean, Orphan Orphan Black is fascinating and all that, but <laughs> when you have guests like I have uh, coming up here on the show, you really want to not take a lot of time. I, I know we have a lot of new listeners because you guys have a lot of rabid fans who are like, "Oh wow, this is literally this is... rabid." Yes, I yeah, mean, yeah, not well, they're not well because they hang out together and then they bite each other. <laughs> and it's, it's it's a problem. Mm. And so and they're like, "Hey, why are you moving on to these other people? We want to hear, you know, the ins, the outs, you know." But you know. When we have guests like this, you have to move on. Go for it. Uh, They are, of course, the hosts of Good Night in the Morning, uh, the uh, radio show that has been sweeping the nation, I guess, is is one way of putting it. I guess you could say that. We're we're syndicated in a lot of places, so uh, that's that's entirely possible. Oh, my God. (laughs) You are a card. I am. I am, but that card is the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, We're we, having fun. Yep, you are having We're fun. Always we, having fun. We're always having, fun. having fun. Wake up, everybody! Everybody, <laughs> wake up! It's it's good night in the morning. Good All night right. to you. Very good. Let me introduce <laughs> you. We have Jasmine and Sunny here. Hi I'm guys. Jasmine. You know who we are. Everyone knows Jasmine and Sunny. Oh. Uh? We've been on <laughs> we've been on the air for forty uh? years. That's forty years. Four decades. Oh. Uh? That is Sonny's signature catchphrase. Uh, <laughs> it's called Good Night in the Morning because uh, the show starts in the morning. Sure. It goes all goddamn day. <laughs> then at nighttime, uh, someone puts uh, a cover over us so we, we know it's time to go to sleep in our cage. And pour some NyQuil. Yeah. Into a- we do the show in a shots giant of cage. We drink okay, shots of NyQuil. over. Good night. <laughs> That's right. Who I puts this... Talking. Carpet over you, or this rug, or whatever, or a blanket. No one ever said it was a carpet or a rug. <laughs> blanket is a little bit closer, but I know that there's a there's a language difference because we're from different countries. Sorry, we call blankets carpets. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> like your security carpet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like Linus. <laughs> uh, what, what what was the question? Oh, who does it? Who it's does uh, it's our producer Scarsdale. <laughs> is Scarsdale here? So of yes. course he is. He's always with us he all the time. He lingers. Bring him in here. I should say. All right. <laughs> here comes Scarsdale. Hello. Hello. Hi, Scarsdale. Hello. Hello. I, I am, am Scarsdale. Scarsdale. You have an interesting Ooh. phenomenon going on with your voice here. Oh. oh really? really? What, what do, do you, you think, think my I voice sounds, sounds like? like? It sounds like two people are talking at the same time. Do you have two <laughs> tracheas and, and larynxes? Do, do I have, have two tracheas, tracheas and larynxes? larynxes? 
No. no. <laughs> well, then what accounts for this strange phenomenon I'm hearing? Uh, I, I just, just sound, sound like, like me, me to me. me. I well, it's, it's, you know, I've heard of people with six octave voices, but you're literally speaking, I think, two octaves in two totally separate octaves. Oh, you, you know, know what, what it is? is. I'm, I'm Tibetan. Tibetan. Oh, I see. You're like breathing in while you're breathing out. and That's right. Out. I'm, I'm doing, doing that, that all, all the time. time. Okay, very good, Scarsdale. Uh, how did you meet these two? How, how did I, I meet, meet Sonny? <laughs> It's interesting because occasionally, and very rarely, I have to say, you sound as if your two voices are not saying the, the word that the other voice is saying. Well, well I, don't I don't know, know what, what you're, you're talking, talking about, about in, in the, the first place, place so I don't, I don't know, know why it would sound. <laughs> <laughs> your Tibetan breathing sort of lapsed there for a second. These guy, this guy, uh, Scarsdale. <laughs> He's quite a character. No, we he's make so fun annoying. of him. We make fun of him all the time on we the show. We hate him. We I, can't how stand did you him. Get hooked up with this guy. Oh, he followed us home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we were leaving the studio the first day we did the show without a producer. <laughs> and uh, I remember I remember walking home to the to the <laughs> to the home we share. Well, we don't we're not married, but we're we not are married. roommates. We are oh. we, <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good, Good night. Morning. So he followed you home, and the rest is history. Yes, well, yeah, he followed us over. You're not curious as <laughs> well, to I am. anything about It seemed that. like you were moving on. No, no, it seemed like you were done with hearing this story. No, I'm never done with history. hearing your story. <laughs> the rest, uh, however, uh, 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 to, to address your comment, the rest is indeed history. Okay. Um, Everything is. But yeah, Scarsdale followed us home, and uh, we What were said, you thinking, Scarsdale? Why, are, why follow these two home? I, I wanted, wanted to, to go break into, into the radio business. Radio <laughs> that makes sense. So, uh, you guys are, are uh, I'm reading some of your press materials here. Oh, good. Oh, we, those got sent over finally. Finally, yes. I, I admit I didn't know anything about you before you got in here. Thanks a lot, thanks Scarsdale. Thanks for studying. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> but uh, uh, you guys have, uh, you've been on the air for 40 years. You're about to go into your 41st season. <laughs> That's and, right. Uh, you've been on since 1965, which yes. is an amazing run. Ugh. Don't remind me. My feet are tired. Wait, and you stay from that, that amazing run. <laughs> and you guys do marathons every day. That's right, every single day before you tape the show. We, we run a from marathon. Six o two p.m. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Wait, after the show, we do it. Yep. Well, it's before the next it day goes show. Into the before next the day. next day show. That's Why are you unsure? Yes, I have a timeline on. question. Yes, sure. absolutely. You said you've been doing this for forty years. That's uh -huh. correct. You said you started in nineteen sixty-five. That's right. Yeah. Was there a hiatus? Period of ten years where you didn't, where you didn't, where you weren't on the air. Oh, that's uh, it is a I'm good question <laughs> because the math is not adding it's up. Not, it's not adding up. And people have we, been driven crazy by this. Here's what we do. Always we do. wondered what were those dark days. Wow. Yeah, we do a, a we do a year on a year up. off. <laughs> um, sometimes we'll take two years off at a time. Oh. Sometimes uh, sometimes we'll spend a whole year running oh, wait, a marathon. So, so. I sleep in a casket. <laughs> Well, then I would think that you would be very afraid of suffocation because of that casket. It's not because, open. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's an open <laughs> casket. Out of respect for the family. <laughs> I have a baboon heart. <laughs> but are you doing these marathons with sheets over you? Because Yes, of course we are. Yeah, yes, okay. we are. So. But with eye holes cut out, no, yeah. a lot of people think we're ghosts. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> for these nighttime marathons? Yeah, oh. we're running. We, we have sheets over our heads. Unsanctioned. <laughs> they, they are, are not real marathons. marathons. <laughs> they are not. The city does not does not support these. How long are these supposed marathons? Then? <laughs> well, they're they're the traditional marathon length. Twenty six point two point miles. Something miles. Okay. And then, Ten uh, hours. Scarsdale is there by the side of the road with uh, cups of water for us to pour over our sheets. <laughs> So you're doing like a wet sheet contest as well? Well, it turns into a wet sheet contest. And I every year win. it's it's every year Sunny wins. <laughs> Wait, it's ever it's yearly. <laughs> we we do it. You do the, the races daily. We do races daily. We do the wet sheet. So it's sort of <laughs> cumulative. 
You you tally up the points at the end of the race That's exactly and right. at the end of the year. That's whoever. exactly right. Then okay. we have a big banquet where we award <laughs> medals. I love sleeping next to you. I love sleeping next to you, Sonny. My partner in business, whom I am not married to. Have you guys ever dated outside of this relationship? I mean, obviously, yeah. not dating, oh, I'm married. But like, you're, oh, you are married. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are you married to? <laughs> Phil Collins. Ever heard of him? <laughs> well, the singer? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. In the air tonight? and Yeah, he's there. <laughs> Every night. So he's he's sleeping next to you uh, then. No, Jasmine? he tours a no, lot. He tours yeah. a lot. So oh, okay. that's, it's good for Sonny to have someone to sleep next. When to. you say tours, I know he's not touring with musically anymore. No, he, he just gave goes that on up. safaris. And right. <laughs> okay. He's doing a lot of lectures where he uh, shows the movie Buster, and then uh, he uh, talks about it. Sort of live uh, live action commentary that mm, he does. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and uh, where did you meet Phil Collins? It's so interesting. Um, take a wild guess. Okay, <laughs> live aid. Yeah. Were you on the Concord? The obvious I answer. I thought I had AIDS. I showed up. Wait, okay, this is an interesting story. You suddenly had an AIDS scare that lasted, I'm going to say, a good 10 years. And so you thought the best place to get a cured was Live Aid? <laughs> I, I saying, thought it was Liv. I kept saying, Sonny, you got to do something. <laughs> and she saw, she saw a story in the paper about this concert, Liv oh. AIDS. And she said, that's got to be the answer. <laughs> So you went. <laughs> you see, very Phil. disappointed. So uh, you see Phil Collins. You think you have AIDS. Yeah. What do you say to him? <laughs> Help me, doctor. <laughs> you think he's a doctor because he's bald. He can't possibly be a pop star. Well, yeah. to be fair, he was wearing a lab coat at the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was His he... signature backstage look. It would <laughs> right. come off right as soon as, he, as soon as the lights hit him on stage, he'd throw the lab coat off. Well, his parents always wanted him to go into the medical industry. And oh. this was kind of a fuck you to them. <laughs> okay. So uh, you start dating Phil Collins. Oh, that's uh, a nice word. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you started having sex with him immediately? Yeah. They, but, began, they began a sexual relationship almost immediately. <laughs> um, and, and this was this is very generous of Phil Collins' part. Still not sure that Sonny does not have acquired immune deficiency First syndrome. First thing I told him was that I had AIDS. <laughs> Next thing I told him was, fuck me harder. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> Phil Collins is a, is a real adventurer. <laughs> real adventuresome spirit, but, yes. you know, that's the rock and roll lifestyle. That's right. Certainly. I, of course, am a widower. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. To whom were you married? A woman with AIDS who died. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, that's what she told me. She, oh, left, she left a note saying... <laughs> Dear Chapman, when you read this, I'm dead from AIDS. <laughs> and you've never seen her again? Never seen Well, she's dead. What was her name? Her name was Bellissima. <laughs> Bellissima. Yeah. Oh, oh she sounds beautiful. She was. Yeah. What? Uh, describe her for me, if you could. She was four feet tall. <laughs> she had... <laughs> Five foot long hair. Oh wow! Beautiful, like Crystal Gale, but oh. one better. Um, it was like hey. She had a beautiful blue eye. Uh, <laughs> just one, or well, I, I could see. Well, I she had the bluest one. eye. I could see one through there. She was a huge Toni Morrison fan, uh. um, and uh, she had a she had a wonderful singing voice. She used to sing to me every night. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. What would she sing to you? She would sing the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> Only public domain songs. That's right. Mm. Would she give you an acronym? Like, was it an acronym? Yeah, she, she would. <laughs> she would sing the alphabet. Then she would tell me what the alphabet stood for. Oh, right. let's hear oh, a little bit of it if you oh, remember. Oh, sure, <laughs> that's beautiful. Well, the song, the song you probably know. Sure, but I'd love to hear it. <laughs> would you really? I really would. You'd <laughs> love to hear it's the. It's my alphabet? favorite song. Oh, okay. Uh, it goes it goes a little something like this. A B C D E G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. I love that. Oh, it's a beautiful, so beautiful. Song. Such it's a beautiful, beautiful melody. Song. Wow. Yeah. How big is this chicken? Oh, well, uh, actually, it's uh, it's about as big as your wife. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't oh. mean to bring that. Oh, oh my gosh. Foot? Holy shit. Four Scott. foot tall, oh. five feet hair. Melissa, why were you taken by the AIDS virus in that letter? Oh, someone's, someone's at, the at the door. That's strange. Oh, that's strange. Who could that be? Oh, uh, let's open up the door. Oh, my gosh. It's someone... Wearing a T-shirt that says "I am Bellissima." <laughs> That's strange. That's my dead wife. Why does it go? Why did you turn around and? Take Whoa! 
<laughs> Bellissima. Now you're white as a ghost. Uh, it's uh, as if you've seen one. You're I feel as if I have because, you know, my wife was dead, as I explained earlier. You're white as one of those sheets you wear. And now I'm seeing her uh, stand before me. Can everyone else see this? Yes. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is very strange. Why uh, won't she talk? I, I don't know. It's really weird. I feel like the person who knocked would be the person who has her Hi, voice. Hello. <gasps> Bellissima. Oh. You, you are here. Is it? I've been looking in all windows and doors for you. Oh, all oh, windows sweet. and doors? Every window and door in the city and every city. Every oh. window, every door. That seems like such what a waste. Why not the one in the house it? that you guys lived in? That you try the house. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah, I'm still thought, there. Well, oh, you didn't move out, out no, of we're still, shame and sadness? We're still living in that vault. <laughs> we're in the cage. A lot more money in there, though. Yeah, it's true. Oh, yeah. Well, well, we work our butt off. The radio. Well, listen, man, you're not you're not dead. I mean, no. What no. happened to you? Why did you leave that note? I mean, uh, I was going to ask that question, uh, Jasmine. But your your mouth is agape. You've been this shot. It's one your mouth ape. is it's now true. agape. Yeah. When I said I one died from AIDS, yeah, you said I was that in actually a letter. saying I died. Dot from comma. AIDS. Oh. oh. Your nickname. Because you I wasn't attracted to him anymore. Oh. What? Melissa, but what That's happened? I, I could have changed for you. I would have done anything to keep you. With changed your clothes, you mean? Wait, yeah. are you wearing the same clothes every single day? It's that, yes. It's that stinky, wet stinky. cloth that you wear. <laughs> I just I just couldn't get around it. My marathon sheet? <laughs> yes. But I wait. didn't know that was a deal breaker. I would have taken it off. You would have? What about our deal? <laughs> oh. See, this is a problem. I feel like there's another woman involved in this oh, situation. Oh, it's not sexual. Sunny and I, we're just, we're just uh, uh, business partners. We are not sexual we partners. Live together, sleep next to each other, work together, <laughs> only speak to each other. The devastation he's felt for all these years. Oh, Sunny's always been very supportive of my marriage. Yes. You, you seem totally fine. Your hair, it's long. <laughs> well, I've, I've had a lot of time to to, oh. to, to grieve. Why have you and been I went through all the steps? Why have you been searching for him if you're the one who left? Because uh, you said he has a lot of money right now, right? Yeah. Oh, a bit of a I gold digger. Oh. I was reading the trades. Oh. It is true that when we were married, I was just a struggling radio disc jockey, and uh, uh, we were not quite as successful as we are now. Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, now that you see her, is there any kind of spark here? I mean, Well, uh, of course, she's my wife, and I love her. I love her beautiful long hair, and I love her one eye. But I can see. Do you have another eye, by the way? Um... Well, what does this look like? Oh, it looks like a hole where I oh, used to be. Yes. Oh, wow. Which is so where, the why I'm no. not well. Did I'm really I, not well. It's I an open never, wound you, in my head. You should have gotten it sewn up. I'm, oh. I'm so poor. I can see part of your brain. Yes. Oh, that is kind of cool. Poke it. Check oh, it out. See if her arm flies sad. out. Get in there. <laughs> Go on. Do, you, do you mind if I insert a finger into your eyes? No, no. It'll make me do something bizarre. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. I kicked. Reflexes. <laughs> it's like Very another. Good. It's like another wooden knee in my head. <laughs> Great to know what part of the brain that uh, you can touch to make your your knee go behind That's the just, eye. Yeah, the wow, lower fantastic. the lower quadrant there wow, behind the, the eye. Wow, fantastic. Well, I mean, do have we made a match here? I mean, obviously we have. Uh, you know, I we think have you you just sign Scarsdale and Salantomy over think you here. Get back together. <laughs> Melissa, yes. Will you do me the great honor of re-becoming my wife? Re-becoming your wife? Well, I mean, legally, I'm single because uh, I thought yes. you were dead. How much money do you have? So much money. What are we I up to? Like a thousand dollars? A lot of thousands. Wow. Sign these papers. <laughs> of course I will. <laughs> That's Signing. as romantic as this is going to get. Oh, Chaz. Oh. Are you still not attracted to him? Mm, just take off the sheet for a second. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to say yeah, you guys have been wearing, wearing the sheet the whole time. <laughs> well, we just gave for a marathon. Oh. Okay. All right, let me take off a sheet here. Oh. oh. So you can see I'm super cut. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and you're naked. I'm like ripped to shit. Yeah. Well, a marathon a night will do that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm in pretty good shape. You literally have zero body fat. Yeah, that's right. This is the Jasmine I fell in love with. Oh. The sheetless, shirtless, ripped fatless. to shit, fatless. Mm, sheetless, oh. shirtless, and fatless. That's me. Oh, my god. Can we go get a real hot dog? Of course we can. Oh, my God. Amazing. Oh. And now they're kissing. And Oh, oh. my God. Wow, so the only people not kissing in the room right now, Christian, you and I, and of yeah. course, uh, Sonny over here. I am i don't need to kiss. <laughs> really? Do you not like kissing? Well, she's got Phil. Oh, and of course, Tatiana. I'm I just pray. by myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm kissing sorry. my own hand. <laughs> Who's that at the door? Oh, there's oh. someone else at the oh. door? Like oh, my people. God, it's international superstar Phil Collins. I can't no. believe he's here. Hello, everybody. Oh How are you? I'm, I'm Phil Collins, and I'm, you know, just coming back from tour. Oh. Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> Sonny, darling, I just thought maybe you'd like to hear some, some of my drums. 
play a few drum solo solos Fine. and then we could, you know, make love on could the drums. You, could you play Fine, the drum I'll soldier from uh, In the Air Tonight? <laughs> I'll play the drum soldier from In the Air Tonight. Oh, and you brought a, a whole kit here. Oh my gosh. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. The Sandman. Take it, Scarsdale. <laughs> ding, ding. Oh, my gosh. I've been waiting, waiting for this moment for all my life. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, Amazing. Wow, now they're right back. Now they're kissing. Phil. Oh, 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 oh
this is a tough one. I, mm. I I really like Gino. Yeah. I really like I really like Todd. Um, nephew Todd. <laughs> yeah, nephew Todd. Yeah. And I really like these days. I really like Randy Snuts. Randy Snuts is a <laughs> really really good. It's a really good time. I like the. <laughs> I, I just like the the world building and the character building that 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 Tim Baltz does. That's, but it, if I had to put like, I don't know, man. So those are my three. You know, uh, yeah. if if you're twisting my arm, I mean, I, I like I really like Todd because okay. it, it, the dynamic between and he makes, you know, Lauren makes makes Scott out to be like some monster, which is really fun, and she plays off yeah. of him, which not. You know, not not all of the characters do. So that's that's that, and that relationship is a weird dynamic, and it's it's fun. I, I like it. Todd's a good choice. So you're saying Todd's your favorite character? <laughs> you're not yes. sure, but you have to put it down. Yes, if you if you make me, yes. It's not a bad choice. Now, is there anything? Oh, I'm going to be able to find plenty of Todd, but is there a moment that sticks out for you? There was there was a great live episode. <laughs> Along with traveling, I've left a lot of my responsibilities at home, but there is one responsibility I could not leave at home. Uh, I had to bring him along with me. Um, he's my sister's boy. Please welcome Todd. Hi. Hi, Todd. Hi. Todd, I, uh, are you having fun on the tour? You... No. I'm sorry that I had to bring you. I... Yeah, you kept me in the hotel bathroom the whole time. Well, th I only have one king-size bed. Yeah, well, let me sleep in it. No, that's weird. Well, it's weird that I have to sleep in the tub. The tub, it's nice and concave. It's almost like shaped like a human body. Uh, almost as if human bodies were meant to go in there. It's fine. Thank you. Yes, it is fine. Yeah. Um, we're traveling around not only the, not only the United States but also uh, Canada a bit. Yeah. Are, are you seeing a lot of the world uh, that you've yeah, never seen? Yeah, I've before? seen a bunch of really cool stuff through there. No window in the bathroom. <laughs> Let me out. Do you want a window in the bathroom? Well, I want to go outside. This is the most outside I've been, and I'm inside. You're in a stuffy schoolroom. Yeah. Oh, I hate school. <laughs> Sucks. Well, I brought you here so maybe you could do your homework while you're here. This is a, a you know, a learned environment. So boring. I hate my homework. I have to write a paper about my favorite relative, and I don't have one. What about your Uncle Scott, who treats you to trips around the world? You, oh yeah, you want me to write about you in my paper? You'll get arrested. <laughs> Everyone knows you're a big pervert freak. No, don't please don't give people the wrong idea. I'm not. You spank me for fun. <laughs> well, I, at least I don't do it as a punishment. Ugh. It's not fun for me. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> How did you sleep last night? I heard you screaming for eight hours straight. Well, I had a bit of the night terrors. Yeah. They only come at night. Uh, well. It would be strange if I had them during the day. Sometimes you scream during the day. Sure. <laughs> That's when I'm napping. <laughs> what are you thinking of in your dreams? What's so scary in there? I'm just, you know, I'm thinking of uh, when my sister would come back and take you away from me. And you'd be so sad? I'd be so sad. You're yeah, right. You want to get rid of me so bad. All right. I'm thinking about murdering people. <laughs> Mm, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I can relate. <laughs> you, you and I have more in common than I think you might think. Oh, yeah, right. You're so old and I'm so young. <laughs> I'm nubile. How old? <laughs> <laughs> that hit. Todd, can I just tell you that's not a word that young gentlemen like to use about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nubile. I got my little hairless body. It's so nubile. <laughs> Look at my little dick. <laughs> you don't have a little dick. Ha ha, I made you say it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Todd, explain, for, for those of you who don't know Todd, explain what happened to your penis. Okay, well, um, my dick was regular size, and then I What does that mean when you say regular size? Get middle, people... middle school size. Right. And then I uh, went and made a wish on a machine genie, and... <laughs> That's my favorite David Bowie song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I wished to be big, and I got big overnight, and I grew up, and I was like a big guy, and then it all went away, and I, get, I got back to small, but my dick stayed big. <laughs> why do you think that happened? We've never discussed why... I mean, we just kind of took it as fact of like, oh, yeah, that's what happened. Why do you think it happened? Why do you think I got small again? No, why why, I know stay? why you got small again. You, or do we? I don't. My Did wish, you wish to get small again? Uh, well, I kind of started missing home a little bit, but my home with my mom, not you. <laughs> and when my, my new fuck buddy dropped me off, I... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You had a new fuck buddy? Yeah, I met a lady. Um... She was really hot. She was like 38. And uh, we boinked. <laughs> so you're not a virgin anymore? You could say. <laughs> but is it factually correct? You... I'm not sure. Wait, you don't know if you had sex or not? Well, I don't know if it counts. Why? What? what I it... put it in. It counts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I didn't say where. <laughs> oh, okay. That's true, it could be the refrigerator for all I know. I put it in her attic. <laughs> Wait a minute, now I've heard of the... <laughs> I've heard of the basement. A woman's like a house. She's got the front door, she's got the back door, she's got the attic. <laughs> <laughs> you could just say you got a blowjob. Whoa, That's, I did? Yeah. Oh, shit. That sounds cooler than I put it in her attic. <laughs> it does? Yeah. I got a blowjob. It hurt. <laughs> she was all teeth. <laughs> was this a famous person by any chance? Yeah, it was Elizabeth Perkins. <laughs> From the movie Big. Coincidentally. <laughs> Is that her thing or something? I or guess she's got a fetish. <laughs> people who used to be small boys who are now... Temporarily big. Does she own the genie machine? <gasps> she tricked me. Hmm. I feel used. <laughs> really? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no. That's not what sex is supposed to make you feel uh, like. Hey, um, hey yes. you know how I said I was hairless? Is that weird, considering my dick is old? <laughs> well, is the area around your dick old? Um, it's wrinkly. <laughs> Still can't tell. <laughs> uh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe it's better. I don't have to shave. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're going to start shaving? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your pubes? <laughs> I can't okay. shave my face yet. Are the rest of the kids in school, are they shaved or? Yeah, they're all pretty shaved. <laughs> <laughs> you pervert. <laughs> you freak. <laughs> I'm you're leading me into asking these questions. You said, are the other boys shaved? <laughs> no. You freak, you're nasty. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, I looked. <laughs> Is there any place that you want to see when we're out here on uh, touring around? Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff I want to see. Do I get to go to every city? Yeah, no, you're here with me the duration of time. Oh, I don't cool. want to pay for a babysitter. Oh, great. Um, I want to go to the Cheers bar in Boston. Mm. Yeah, and I want to have my first beer and get drunk. <laughs> you, wait, you never drank a beer when you were big? No, I couldn't. My ID was small. <laughs> you have a tiny ID? My hand got bigger. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yep. Sure does. So you, so, okay, so you've never had a beer before. Yeah, what's well, it like to get drunk? Well, it's pretty fun. I mean, until you do it for 30, 40 years straight. <laughs> then it's a little depressing. Oh. Well, I'm excited. I think I'll be able to finally be my true self when I drink alcohol. Yeah? Yeah, you know, what? they say it's truth serum. Yeah, what do you think you're kind of hiding right now? That I'm gay. <laughs> 
Let me, let me give you a tip. You're not hiding it. <laughs> when, when you oh. just say it like that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's right. We've talked about this before. Yeah, I, I came out once anyway, but yeah, I, I kind of went back in. Yeah. It, it, uh, I would imagine a lot of the uh, other people at school are not as accepting of it. Oh, they just don't like me for who I am. <laughs> not because I'm gay. There's a bunch of cool gay kids at my school, but I'm annoying. <laughs> when, when you let them know you're gay, do they say, oh, that makes you a little more tolerable? They're like, we let, we're not going to make fun of you for that because we're not like that. We're not intolerant like that. We just hate you because you're a dumbass. And then they punch me. <laughs> They punch you? They punch me in my dong. <laughs> it's a big target. Yeah, but it's so hard it knocks them out. <laughs> Are they making fun of you because you have a rock hard dick? What? Yeah, and it's 12 inches. In my, in my you know, you jeans. say that you grew into be a man. Yeah. And that's why it's 12 inches. I, I, most men are not 12 inches. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. I'm wondering how you got a 12 inch. I guess I'm just lucky. Oh, and I did a lot of stretches when I was big. I put weights on the end of my dick and walked around. <laughs> it works just like when you stretch out your earlobes. Never goes back. Real rubbery. <laughs> babes love it. <laughs> but I hate babes. <laughs> it's almost like you forgot that for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to being in the closet, you know? Yeah, I do know. It must be hard. You know what that's like? Oh. Come on. Come on. Hey, I'd I heard your playlist in the car. <laughs> we were driving around. <laughs> and every song on my iPod. Was basically like, I'm gay. <laughs> well, it didn't. It didn't help the very first song that was the first thing that was said. It was from the mu musical Fun Home. And then it was the dad being like, oh, I'm gay. <laughs> and then you had like a thought bubble <laughs> that was like, me too. <laughs> and I was like, me too. <laughs> but I'm afraid to tell you. You've told me so many times. <laughs> I just forget because I don't care. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because you're so tolerant or because you don't care about anything I say? I'm just not interested in anything you tell me. God, it's so mean. I'm not mean. I'm just, uh, I'm, a, I'm a very stern, uh, you know, spoil the rod, spare the child. That's how I feel. Spoil the rod? <laughs> That's, that is my point of view. You have to spoil that rod. <laughs> spare the child. <laughs> spoil the rod! <laughs> <laughs> This is so dirty right off the bat. I apologize Don't to anyone. Don't you know who you're talking to? You asked me to come out first. You love that dirty stuff. I need to keep an eye on you, young man. I was being bad back there. What'd you do? Uh, I did something to Neil. What did you do? I kissed him. You kissed Neil? On the cheek. On the cheek. Okay, how did he, he take- He was sleeping. Why, why is he sleeping immediately after he gets off stage? He was so tired He's from performing. Just tuckered out? Yeah. It was yeah. so cute. <laughs> you, should, you really should not kiss people without consent. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I think that anyone in the world only should kiss if, if they look at each other and say, I consent to kissing you. Yeah. And then the other, other person says it, and then they kiss. That's very romantic, don't you think? Like at the end of a date, you have to like go through all the paperwork? Mm -hmm. Check off some boxes? <laughs> That seems safe. You can't get in trouble that way. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, a lot of boys at your school, I would imagine, kind of, you know, flirt the, uh, or skirt the line, or flirt the line. What's but the phrase I'm looking for? Toe the line? Walk the line? Fuck the line? <laughs> I don't know where your sentence is going. <laughs> but I, I would imagine that's a, a tough thing to learn sort of the rules of conduct. At your yeah, age. it's hard to know uh, like what someone wants, you know, when you are like, trying to get with them. Because, <laughs> like, not everyone's really outward about their feelings, you know, like, especially when, like, because, um, you know, I've been in the closet for a while because I'm gay. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but, like, um, so it's, like, hard for me to know, like, how to say how I feel to someone because I'm not used to it. Do you want to maybe role play a little bit and see? You want to pretend to be someone that I have a gay crush on? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, Uncle Scott. <laughs> we, this is not weird. We do it at home all the no, time. No, you always make me. <laughs> I have to do this twice before I go to bed. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey. Hey, what's up? 
Whoa. I didn't know you were going to be someone so cool. What's up, babe? Uh, hey, Eric. Uh, <laughs> Todd. Mm, oh, you know my name. <laughs> What's up, Brosif? Guess what? <laughs> cool high five you got there. Thanks. Guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, something else. I'm too embarrassed to tell you this. Oh, yeah? Promise you won't laugh? <laughs> Uncle Scott! <laughs> I told you not to break. You never break character. Sorry. I'm asking. Hey, you, uh, you promise not to laugh? This is really embarrassing. Yeah, I promise. Well, my dick's 12 inches long. <laughs> and what's embarrassing is that when it's hard, it's... 12 feet long. <laughs> and I can climb it like a rope. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> hey, Todd. What? You'd make an excellent burglar. <laughs> Whoa, cool. You could swing it up those tall buildings. Uh, do you think I could steal your heart? <laughs> You know, put my dick inside you, grab your heart with it, pull it back out. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm out of character now. <laughs> Sorry. I got so comfortable with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a boy named Eric that you know? Yeah. He's yeah. really cute. What's his last name? Um, Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Roberts? Yeah. We went two different ways on this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Eric Roberts. Is yeah. he related to, you know? Julia? Sure. Yeah, it's and, her Or brother. Eric. <laughs> No, it's Eric Roberts. Wait, at your school? He's, he went back to middle school. He never graduated. Is this some sort of Billy Madison situation? Yeah. And he likes the teacher. He likes the teacher? Yeah. Is the teacher younger than him? Yeah. She's the hot lady from Billy Madison. What? Yeah. From Ed? Yeah. And Modern also. Family? She's on Modern Family? I think so. I never got to see that. Yeah, you're not allowed to watch TV. I can't watch anything that's currently on. <laughs> Nor repeats. I know. You can watch future shows if you can find them. Uh -huh. What a riddle. <laughs> How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> well, figure it out, young man. Go to the studios, get the tapes, watch them. Could be. Could I guess be. Guess I figured it out. <laughs> Show a little initiative. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that you're in love with uh, an unrequited love uh, out there. Everyone's got to go through that at some point. You're, the, you're so wise. Thanks. <laughs> you, you've never said that to me. Well, you know, I think maybe you're growing up. Maybe really? you are ready for high school. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be ready. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to stay in middle school forever, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we have, uh, we have some more guests that we have to get to. Oh, good company. <laughs> I don't allow people over normally. You never let me see. You always have to lock me in your room when you have company and you have dinner parties. Yeah. By the way, I lock you sometimes in the bedroom and... <laughs> and when you're sleeping on my bed... Huh? Even though you're supposed to sleep in the dog's bed, I've, I've come in and caught you. <laughs> what the dog's too big. There's no room. The dog's too big. <laughs> the dog takes up the you're, whole bed. You're bigger than the dog. Push the dog over. I don't want to be rude. You don't want to be rude to a dog? Yeah. I have morals, unlike some people. You have dog morals? Yeah. Because <laughs> you treat people like shit. Yeah. I love dogs, though. I respect them. <laughs> yeah. As fellow predators. They have human eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so do humans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's more meaningful when they're in the dog. <laughs> I guess you're right. But when you're on my bed, what kind of mattress do you sleep on? <laughs> Elisa! <laughs> oh, by the way, now that it's come up, thanks to Lisa, our sponsor for this tour. <laughs> That's, it came up so organically. Yeah. It's what I sleep it just on. just popped right in my mind <laughs> there. Um, all right, we need to get to our, our uh, next guest. Is that all right? That's all right with me. 
It is. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to uh, introduce him or do you want me to introduce him? Mm, I'm scared. Okay, I'll do it. Don't worry. Don't worry, Todd. <laughs> It's okay, Todd. I'm scared of public speaking. I'm so, well, you're, you've been talking for the past half, and you're jerking off with a microphone. I'm wagging it. There's a difference. All right. <laughs> Todd has done 22 shows. Yeah. yeah, Todd's great. I've also noticed Scott brings in Lauren. He's got these certain guests that he brings in when he has a guest on for the first time, maybe someone he's not yeah. sure. Gino's another one that he uses like that. And yeah. and Sean Diston too. Sean Diston, for a while there, was like yeah. on every second show, you know. Those people are going to bring out the best of the other guests anyway. And and another you mentioned, I go back to, because it was when we were talking about friends of the show, um, Nathan Fielder, great pick. Um, that show, was it called Nathan For You? That he, yes. The first show he did? God, that was funny. And, yeah, um, and... Nathan does this thing in, in a few of them when, he, when he's like, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? <laughs> like, you know, he's like to the character yeah. who is acting crazy. You know, he's a great, yep. he's a great straight man. Yeah, it's a nice pick. Nice pick. So we've covered uh, friend of the show. We've covered characters. Um, another one, you don't have to have one, but I used one last week. It was uh, in episode three, I played a favorite moment of the show which for um, this particular person was when the Silicon Valley poo crew ring China, which yeah. ended up actually being a few segments. Is there a moment, is there a particular time of the show that just stands out to you as like that was just, I was just rolling on the floor laughing. I was, I was ruffling. It would, it would have to be either the Kansas Oh my gosh! What are they called? The Kansas um, Breeze. Memphis Kansas, Kansas Breeze. Whenever they first did the song, and they were first, you know, out in it, not the Christmas song, you know, but like the original song. That was great. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, Harley. All right, Brantley. <laughs> Give me an all right. It's Saturday night, time to have some fun Gonna drink some beers, gonna shoot my gun Then I notice the date's 223 And that's a birthday to someone special to me So I got some candles and I got some cake And I told everyone to meet me by the lake I got in my truck four years ago today And that makes this the truck's birthday Pick a truck, birthday party, everyone's invited the trucks honk their horns and they get excited Pick a truck, birthday party, having a blast I got him a birthday cake made of gas And instead of party hats, the trucks wear traffic cones And instead of birthday clowns, they hire a mechanic Instead of singing happy birthday, trucks honk their horns Some do car alarms, but most honk horns Honk, honk, truck's birthday Honk, honk, truck's birthday Day. Honk, honk, truck's birthday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Let's yeah. And another one. This was in episode 500. Gino talked about, like, oh, man, how he got turned out by the Catholic priests. Oh, yeah. That was, that was nuts. That was nuts. Like, and he was firing on all cylinders on in that episode. And how, like, a coin star and, oh, man, it, <laughs> I know. If, if anyone's wanting to hear that, I won't play that now because I only played that a few weeks ago. That's actually in the episode uh, with Ryan. Sorry, that'd be uh, four weeks ago. Episode two of Bang Bang by Request. Um, yeah, when Gino is uh, a bait boy for the FBI. That's yeah. the bit you mean, isn't it? And that, that was, you're right, that was episode 500. Interesting about that episode is that's, one that will be coming up in the show again because that's been requested by someone as an episode. But, um, yeah, that's a great moment. Um, it's a very popular episode, the 500. The hundos are always special, though. Bingham, what other podcasts would you listen to? Is it all I'm comedy? I'm a big fan of... Yeah, <laughs> I'm a big fan of, um, of, of Doughboys. Doughboys right. is good. Um, 
I like this Canadian podcast called uh, Stop Podcasting Yourself. And oh, I don't know that one. Yeah, it's 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 good. And then um and I, I love of course love all the um CBB World is great and I like I still listen to Who Charted. Who Charted was oh, on yeah. the Airwolf network. Um and um I listened to the, the Sloppy Boys. Oh yes, yep. The Sloppy Boys are great. Originally, Sloppy um Cool App Cool App was on Who Charted, wasn't she, originally? She was, and it was a nice addition to have Cool Up um on that show. Hmm. We're pretty much near the end. It doesn't take long, does it? Um, how do you know CBB? Have you ever successfully introduced favorite friend of the show, favorite character? Uh, favorite. Oh, yeah. Are there any, uh, having asked this one before, are there any CBB expressions that you use in your day-to-day life? Do you ever say, hey, Nong man, to someone? <laughs> I, I say um, there's a few. I say that sounds good to me. <laughs> I say that. I say I say one time a lot, like the Fuji's one, yeah, one yeah. time. One, one time. I like the uh, that sounds good to me because that's one that you can say to anyone without them going, "What the fuck are you talking about?" If you say right. "Hey, Nong man." <laughs> Hey, yeah, no, man, or, that happened to know the show. Or like three knows one. You know, oh, yes. Saying knows instead of two, that's and that's that's something I don't say. I do say that. No, no. That sounds good to me in one time. I say that often. <laughs> one time. Yeah, well, that sounds good to me, Bingham. Listen, what would be, this is a hard one because every week another episode gets added and I guess sometimes uh, two episodes get added in a week of comedy, bang, bang. But if you had to pinpoint it down to your very favourite, I guess the one you'd probably go back to a few times, what would it be from the whole list available? So it would probably be an anniversary just because there's so many characters on it and, it, and it's such a cluster. And yeah. one that's that's not too that's not too far away um or it was relatively recent was um the 12th anniversary show uh okay. episode 704 a bunch of people on it and it's a really good that's it's it's some of them dip in and dip out you know like i think like you know the pft is in the beginning and then like sean distance in the middle and then at the end you know gino makes an appearance and but they're all kind of they have their light and they all kind of shine but it's um that that's a fun one Okay, well, look, let's listen to it now. It is the 12th anniversary show, episode 704 of Comedy Bang Bang. Goes back just a little over two years, May the 2nd, 2021. Bingham, if anyone wants to find you, are you on any social media? I'm on Instagram. I don't post regularly, but it's my first and last name. I'm also on Spotify, oh. and check out my playlists on Spotify. That's, that's what I do want to plug. Well, and the same, looking, just use your name on Spotify as well? Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, Bingham, thank you very much for being part of Bang Bang by Request. Enjoy your Sunday night in Baton Rouge. Have a great week in the insurance office and, uh, <laughs> and, get, and escaping with Comedy Bang Bang. I really appreciate you coming on the show. Absolutely, and, uh, my pleasure. Catch you later. And this was fun. Thanks, man. Make peace with the fish and she'll grant you a wish. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Mmm. I like the concept of that, that uh, people out there have beef with fishes or fish with beefers. Beefers? <laughs> uh, welcome to wow. Comedy Bang Bang for another week. Uh, thank you to Teenage Grave Robber for that catchphrase submission. Teenage Grave Robber. Uh, thank you so much. And what a week it is. My name is Scott Ackerman, and an incredible achievement uh, we have unlocked for this podcast. We are, this is our 12th anniversary. We are, I think last week I said we were closing out our 11th year. No, we have closed out our 12th year, and this is the first episode of our 13th year, a.k.a. the 12th anniversary. Wow. So, yes. So, welcome Breaking to the show. Breaking off another 13. <laughs> well, we're breaking off our... 
second 12th, 12th. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. We're in the middle, of course, of our eighth hundo as we broke off another one uh, a couple episodes ago with our friend who's here. Uh, We have plenty of friends from the show returning all throughout this episode, plus some other stuff, but I want to introduce him first. He, of course, is the Dink Dink Man. He is the Hainong Man himself. You know him from The Dictator and only from The Dictator. Please Single credit. <laughs> single credit guest here. Please welcome back to the show, Jason Manzoukas. Yeah. Happy anniversary, Scott. Wow. Thank Who you so much. Thought? Who would have thought? Who would have ever thought back in 2009 that this would continue past three weeks, let alone that, 12 that years? This scrappy little art upstart that was, that was being broadcast out of a radio station uh, would would turn We're now into in each this. other's closets <laughs> would turn into us locked in our closets uh, uh terrified to see and touch each other <laughs> how do you feel at like closing out 12 years of this like we we're, we're, we're like you're entering what is commonly known as your bacon your baker's dozen year <laughs> my bacon dozen your years. baker's dozen like a baker's dozen is 13 12 pieces of bacon before every episode yep <laughs> <laughs> but your bacon's dozen uh, you know, I never thought it would get uh, past 10, honestly, because I don't think I've ever done anything in my life that uh, has exceeded 10 years. So uh, how long have you been married? Oh, that's right. <laughs> never mind. No, I think that's been uh, that's been t- 12 as well. I think Was we it did. The, did you start both? Uh, not start. Uh, yeah, I guess you start a marriage. You could say you started a marriage. But did you guys get married the same year that you started Bang Bang? Or we within did we, the... we, in the same twelve month yeah, period, that's what I mean. but yeah. uh, not in the same calendar year. But yes, yeah, yes. we we got married a few months before this started. So uh, really, the best times of my life have been wow uh, you, doing really, the show and married really to uh, the widow. You really peaked twelve years <laughs> <I> peaked? ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think the show's gotten better and better, but who knows? Oh, read the boards. Uh oh. <laughs> um, tread the boards. Tread Add a little tea to that. Read the boards, Hardly. and you got something. <laughs> the immortal bard. Uh, but uh, Jason, we have to introduce please some uh, very important guests here. They were on the show four years ago. I can't believe it was that long ago. But they were on four years ago uh, promoting their previous album. They, they are here promoting their new record, The Million Masks of God. Please welcome back to the show, Andy and Robert. That's right. Manchester Orchestra is here. Nice. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, it is our pleasure. A big Lovely fan, to of meet course. You both. Uh, you, uh, did you guys time the release of this new record <laughs> we did. To, to the, the anniversary 12th, yeah. to the 12th anniversary like we did yeah, it's been it's, ready for years but 12 was specific we wanted it, to wait a few it <laughs> feels particularly advantageous to do it now because you know you're going to promote on this episode which is going to be probably the biggest episode of the year biggest episode of the year undoubtedly yes and could be very potentially be you know the biggest accolade for us of the year so oh, yeah. you know it's a win win well, you know, you talk about this being a big accolade, and yet, Andy, I go to your Wikipedia page, which Uh-oh. is, of course, my primary resource for all research on this yep. <laughs> on this <laughs> podcast, and I see a little section by the name of Appearances in Other Media, and oh, yeah. I start salivating because I know a Comedy Bang Bang reference is nigh and we have television performances, late night, late or late show with David Letterman, late night Conan O'Brien, et cetera, et cetera. Television episodes where your song, you're not even in them, but your songs are just played on them. Movies, video games, not a mention of comedy bang bang Whoa. anywhere on the page. Wow. What do you say to that? I, I'm going to have to tell my mom who edits that page that she needs to kind of get her facts right. And we're, we'll, we'll take it from there. This I'm is whole. This is like, I'm this as is embarrassed some... as you are. This is some gotcha journalism from it Scott really Ogden. Is. This, you honestly, invite... this is the only reason I wanted you back. I mean, I this like the music and everything, but very Fox News of you. <laughs> this is very like lure them in and then be like, now am I to believe? <laughs> no, I am uh, very happy to have you back. But um, uh, you know, hey, all you Wikipedia. Uh, not sleuths necessarily, but all, all of you Wikipedia bandits out there who like leaving stuff. I guess bandits take stuff. A Wikipedia bandit would be more like someone who edits things out of pages, wouldn't they? 
I would think so. They would steal the information from the page (laughs) and and not make it publicly available anymore. I mean, they might they might fence it to another page. They might like sell it. They might sell that information to another page. Andy, Robert, what if you were to make your Wikipedia page? What if what if your mom were to edit on to the page in its own section, a comedy bang bang appearance and then make that an NFT? Oh, now we're talking. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd love to get into NFTs and what they are. Like, how should we be monetizing this episode right now as think, an NFT? Yes, I think every episode yes. should be an NFT. I think uh, didn't Kings of Leon make their recent band uh, an NFT? They made the band an NFT. It's no longer <laughs> they made a band. The actual band <laughs> Wait, is now what? an NFT. Yeah, they, it's it's insane. <laughs> I think they had that sex that they did that was on fire. That's you're an saying NFT now? KOL or an NFT? No longer a band. <laughs> you heard it here first. Tell us a little bit about the record i mean this is a weird time to be releasing a record uh, you can't go out on tour right yeah it, it is a bit weird i mean I, f- I feel fortunate that it we've been able to wait a little bit i feel bad for the artists that released things last year and had no way to to, to perform them at don't all, feel so. bad for heim <laughs> i saw um, him on the ground isn't that a, isn't that the name of a song you're you're working on <laughs> don't feel bad for heim <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is. It's a bit strange, but at, you know, at a certain point, we finished this album right before everything locked down, and we were able to spend a really long time mixing it because everything was in lockdown. And so yeah, you've been, been you've been sitting on, on this for a year, which, by the way, is a song that Jason's been writing as well. Yeah, <laughs> I've been sitting on this for a year. <laughs> Yes, in, in a way we have. So luckily we still really like it. Every time we kind of listen to it, every few months, we would go like, oh, right, this is still good. So that was a good sign. We didn't want to tinker with it anymore. This is a hardcore ska album, right? It is, yes. <laughs> yes. At, its, at its core, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I have another question. Scott, will you read the name, the title of the album again, please? The title of the album is The Million Masks of God. Now, is that a direct relate? Do you guys believe that God should has been wearing a COVID mask for the last year is this a oh yeah is this are these the are, are these has he been wearing uh, a million of them i mean we've all K- been double K- masking n95 exactly. masks that god is wearing we feel so strongly that whatever type of virus god could contain he would need a million masks <laughs> in order to... he created it though like why i got i don't know he's a weirdo it's complicated well, we got... that's what the album's about you know it's he's just a strange guy yeah. <laughs> really a strange guy he splits <laughs> himself into three with like his son and then a ghost like he's, yeah. he's a little bit of an oddball i think yeah i think that was halloween i think that was just, <laughs> he just a, had halloween. a crazy halloween one year and... he's like i've got such a good costume this year i'm gonna <laughs> split myself I'm my son in three. and a ghost I'm, my, I'm a ghost so spooky but i'm also my own son <laughs> god god suddenly <laughs> Ooh, Andy's Andy's sexy. I'm going to be a sexy my son. Did you just say Andy's sexy? I think you would appreciate that. Andy, you, so you're, much, you know what? Andy, you're very sexy. <laughs> Thank you. And, Thank and you. Robert as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Great to have you. Uh, we do need to get to our... Uh, I, I and, consider... the t- and again, the name of the album is God Wears His Mask Over His Chin, Not His Mouth. <laughs> yes, One million again. times. Uh, no, again, a strange guy. <laughs> uh, we do need to get to our first guest, and I consider him to be our first guest as you are our musical accompanists and Jason, you have strong co-host energy. Uh, but uh, now this is interesting, Jason, when you were on a, a few episodes ago, uh, when we uh, closed out that hundo, closed out our seventh hundo, uh, we had this guest on and then uh, we, we had, let's just say a plan formed on this episode. And then something happened that week and we wanted to talk to him about it. So uh, please welcome back to the show. He's a Royal watcher. Please welcome back Byron Denniston. Hello. Hello, hello, lads. How are you? Am Doing I coming in coming well? in clearly from London, all the way from London? <laughs> you certainly are from London, <laughs> and you are coming in clearly. Coming in clearly over this, the airwaves, yes. You remember Jason, of course. Uh, of course, yes. Hello, Jason. Yes. Great to see you again, Byron. Great uh, to see you. Thank you so much you for uh, making well. time to join us again. And this is My Robert pleasure. and Andy from Manchester Orchestra. Manchester is oh. famously oh, a city goodness. in England. From Manchester, England, I suppose. We're Atlanta, Georgia, but very close. I don't understand. <laughs> it's just a hop, skip, and a jump across the pond. Manchester, England, uh, the the site of uh, an incredibly vibrant movie, I mean, music scene. Um, mm. 
you know, the Happy Mondays, Joy Division, like that whole. Are you the, on a Wikipedia page right now? What is going no, on? No, I'm just saying like the movie 24 Hour Party People is uh, basically yeah. about the Manchester. Sure. And, and Manchester by the Sea, a, a, another uh, rocking, vibrant movie that has <laughs> yes, a lot of energy. Yes, that's about Manchester in Massachusetts. Of course. Um, uh, but uh, be not confused. They are a band from the States here, so uh, I apologize for that. But Well, uh, I can't help but be confused, and there's really nothing you can do to clear it up. I beg your pardon. But oh, uh, you know what lot. I do want to clear up, uh, Byron, yes. which mm. uh, you were on the show. You were on our 700th episode and uh, with, with Jason and I, and we yes. were talking about a plan that we were going to enact that week. Mm -hmm. uh, regarding, of course, uh, what was the, the plan that the Royals had? Formula One? What was it? <laughs> it was not called Formula One. No. It was, it was something plan Formula One, one funny cars? Plan one, plan one, the Groucho gang? Was that not it? Not, that was it. What, what was it? Oh, well, gentlemen, gentlemen. I, there, so much has happened since we last spoke. So much has happened, I can't keep it all in my head. I know. It's absolutely chaotic. It's been an insane uh, few weeks here. And there are things I... Please, when we're done with this episode, uh, will you send it to me so that I can ask you to edit out? Because I'm just going to tell you what happened. But there are yeah, parts yeah. Of we'll the... edit everything out. Don't yes, worry. Yes, the public oh, yeah. should not know. But I'd like. I want you. You know, you. We should talk about it. Yes, we should. Yes. So this is on the DL. Let's talk about Absolutely. what actually. Absolutely. So as people will no doubt remember. Should I stop recording? Uh, do... Uh, yeah. Do the opposite of uh, hit record, okay. Joe. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes. Stop record, Jason. <laughs> So, as of the last episode, I Does was... Does that make it into the episode, that joke? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Who know. knows? Goes, but this will, that goes, this that will goes. not. This It'll... will not. Okay. Yes. Well, some of it will and some of it won't. That's the, that's the point. I don't wish to edit okay. myself as okay, I go. Okay, so, Byron, if you don't mind, know. you just yes. tell me when to hit record again, oh, and I'll my. hit record again. No, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> just be so, you know, It's too We may as well just just keep recording. Okay, record okay, it well, yeah, later. We'll edit it out. I'm sorry. We'll redact it. Yeah, we'll redact it. Whatever words you need redacted whatever you okay know. so this will be the 12th anniversary episode redacted yes version. redacted version precisely oh, and, le and let's just say that and i full... will not forget i will not forget to redact it don't forget and the full audio will not come out until 50 years after all of us have died <laughs> oh wow <laughs> it's, is this going to be like a time capsule yes it's like that <laughs> who's going to be keeping track of when all of us die it's not that hard. It's really 50, 50 years after the last one of us died. I think okay. we'll, Could it be the first one? This, I, mean, uh, I feel no. like somehow um, Sprague, the Whisperer, is going to be keeping track of all of those details. Yeah, that's true. He yeah. seems to be in charge of like a lot of <laughs> all that of information, the yeah, all of, of the canon. All right, okay. so hit us. What happened that week? So... As people will remember, uh, I was getting into prosthetic makeup every day to pose as Prince Philip uh, in his final days and uh, lurking around Buckingham Palace, getting scoops and whatnot. And I had learned that uh, there was going to be a launch into space of all of Europe's royals uh, and an and a, 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 a explosion of Earth by way of nuclear uh, missiles to coincide with Tina Turner's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which would in fact become Shannon's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, because Shannon would have taken the stage. And that was Tina coincidental. Turner. The 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 Shannon and Tina Turner of it all, I believe. The, I, the, the, I, the plan was going to be enacted that week, regardless, because the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is still a few uh, weeks away. I believe. I do. I think. I I think one was caused by the other, but regardless, <laughs> the point. Let's, let's just say that the connections might have been tenuous, but they're there. <laughs> sure. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, they're yes. there if you look for them. Definitely. Yes, yes. But but. Uh, then we determined that for me to earn a spot on this spaceship with the royals that would be taking off, I would need to marry a royal. And I set my sights um, uh, upon, well, it doesn't matter. It hardly matters. But the, the point became that what then to do with Prince Philip, yes, you know? Right. And so a, a, a person yes. who you had already been impersonating and is whom, you, whom you had disposed of many months prior. Well, yes. And this is one of the things you laid it out. I'm sure that I, I had murdered Prince Philip several months before and, and, and uh, dismembered him. And he's been dead for quite a while. Of course, put his eyes to good use. S as sure. St but strewn the rest of his body across the four corners of the globe. Uh, yes. And never, never. You'd never find him, I thought. Well, I, of course, I kept track of where all of his parts were. You'll sure. hear that. Yes. I, I, that plays into it. But all right. <laughs> so what we decided to do 
We formulated a plan. It was mostly Jason's idea of the Scrooge bit, but the idea was... Yeah, Jason was no. really into the Scrooge game. I was not it. into the Scrooge, but that was the one part I didn't like, but go <laughs> ahead. Well, it came off great, I have to say. But yes, go ahead. nearly perfectly. The idea was that a bunch of bank robbers were going to hit... We settled on Lloyd's Bank, ultimately, uh, near St. Paul's Cathedral. Uh, 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 bank robbers dressed as the characters from A Christmas Carol would descend upon the bank, which has a safety deposit box, which would be filled with frozen eyes, which would then be spilled out onto the street as the as the <laughs> robbers made their escape. And, they, and they're heavily armed, and then there would be a, an intervention by Prince Philip, which would really be me in prosthetic makeup. Uh, he would be the hero of the day. He would foil yes. the bank robbery and then yes. get j- just blasted in the face with one of the robber's shotguns. Well, not in the face, because it was going to be squibs uh, under the clothes. Squ- well, we would yes. have the squibs, but we, we felt like we needed to do it on the face in order to hide the fact that you had to switch a body in that was not the real Prince Philip. I know, I know. Well, th- this is where things got very complicated. So, so <laughs> This is where? <laughs> yes. Dalton Wilcox had provided us with another body. <laughs> Which was go- which was covered in the same prosthetics and going uh. to be in the same clothes, and there was going to be a body switch at the last moment. That body was going to be buried as Prince Philip, while I made my way out of out of the scene. This is we missed a real opportunity. I, ap- I apologize, Byron, to yes. to say prior to just exactly what you're doing previously on comedy Bang <laughs> that's right well oh, if only sprague were here to do that, i know right? he would have cut together a previously on but we <laughs> so this is for for anybody listening this is these this are is, the events yes. of episode 700 700 yes yes to the best of my recollection but here's where things went uh, gentlemen i'm afraid off they the went rails. pear-shaped yeah yes exactly the person who we had hired to play scrooge in in the gang <laughs> Simply didn't show up, but it was uh, fine. We went ahead with it anyway. Yeah. It was way we, wait, we waited for like five whole minutes. Well, and he, yes, and, he and didn't I, show I up. had argued for giving him the more traditional fifteen-minute grace, but, <laughs> sure. but a, a bank I, robbery is a more well, precise look, thing. in show business. Yes, you have to be five minutes early, and that means on time. So now, the fact that he was five I have minutes a late, I just we just walked away. I have a question, Byron. Yes, in in setting this up, mm. did you hire bank robbers? So as to make the bank robbery feel real, or did you hire actors to play bank robbers? Jason, were you not paying attention this whole I time? I wasn't. I forgot. What did we, we do? We were there every day of this. We yes. were. We were yes. part of. I so we forgot. wrote this. We wrote the script right after the, the episode. Oh right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Damn it. And Cut so as that you know, out. Cut that out, Devin. I'm not going to redact. You, you just redact. Being stupid. I demand. The rule is, if you say I want it redacted, it mm. has to be redacted. Act, if you want it redacted, it has to be enacted. And, yes. If you, uh, and so I'm enacting redacting. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it was a bunch of uh, actors who had uh, starred in a production of The Christmas Carol. And we had uh, got this great guy for The Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come, who oh, yes. all he had to do, you know, in, in A Christmas Carol, all he does is point at a grave. He's wearing yes. big, long robes. All he had to do was just show the teller the, the note. He didn't have to say anything. Yes, yes. But so somehow he, he, we got this chatty caddy. Chatty Cathy, Chatty Cathy. <laughs> we got a Chatty Cathy actor, yes, out there who wanted to like beef up his role or something. It was crazy. Well, and of course, they did not realize that they were going to be shot for real by right. Well, that was we. Yeah, we didn't tell them. Yeah. Dressed as uh, Prince Philip, and so that was uh, that ended up being. Really they kept saying, like, hey, where are my squibs? I see Prince Philip has squibs. Where are my squibs? And we kept saying, like, eh, don't worry we about it. We also told them that the police that were showing up were also actors. Sure, yeah. And you everyone know, in so the bank was an actor. They would be totally safe, uh, and they should yes. feel free to We had to told taunt. them, actually, that we had built uh, an 11 to 10 scale Lloyd's Bank around the real bank. So yes. the whole thing was a set. So it may be that the Scrooge fellow uh, was suspicious of some of that and therefore <laughs> did not show up. The rest can of we just are, say who he was? It's, uh, it was Patrick Stewart. Yes. All right. Good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, yes, we could say that. Yes, <laughs> we were going to kill Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yes. The plan was to kill Patrick Stewart and everyone else who starred with him. That, that I mean, that show. didn't start out as the plan. It, the plan was to get. Prince, the, sure. the, get the public to believe that Prince Philip had been killed foiling that a bank robbery. That was just a side benefit. The benefit we, on yeah. the other side of it was that we could get rid of Picard. <laughs> sure. Right. <laughs> right. That was, yes, just incidentally. 
But as it turns out, gentlemen, because there was no Scrooge in the Scrooge gang, when the police got to the scene, they saw the dead body of what was meant to be Prince Philip, this body that uh, Dalton Wilcox had With the arranged. prosthetics. Yes, yes, yes. And they, they assumed that this was the Scrooge and that this was a bad guy. And then when they determined it was Prince Philip... There was this terrible panic inside Buckingham Palace that Prince Philip had joined a bank robbing squad. <laughs> wow. As Scrooge to the, the Scrooge gang. Now, it didn't help that he was wearing like one of those nightcaps that Scrooge has when he throws open the windows and goes that down was a and blunder. says, hey, that was the real blunder. Yeah. Well, because we had we had thought that perhaps Prince Philip would have heard the gunshots and jumped sure. out of his bed and all that. <laughs> sure. we, we thought we, we thought we that made him more heroic yes, that he like jumped it. out of bed just to go yes, go down to, to this go bank. Forward. Foil this bank robbery. <laughs> yes. But instead, it looked like he was, the, if anything, the ringleader, yeah, which exactly. is a very compelling narrative, I'm sure, that the tabloids picked up with and ran with. I mean, Absolutely. This, I, 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 we've never seen anything like it in London. This was the greatest clamping down of a news story you have ever seen in England. The, the, you've never seen such message discipline on the part of the royals or such cooperation on the part of the of reporters. Anyone who came within a mile of it was was threatened with their lives and ran away. Probably a kilometer. Uh, yeah. Within a kilometer, yeah. probably came <laughs> within a kilometer. Of it. Which is how you would say. I know that's so polite of you to translate it. You don't. Miles you don't have us, to say it for have our sake. Yeah. No, I, I assume that Americans are far too stupid to even understand that <laughs> word and that it is a unit of measurement. This but, was the the biggest clampdown on a news story since uh, Princess Di was abducted by aliens, wasn't it? Uh, yes, exactly, exactly, <laughs> and even bigger because apparently you've heard of that. <laughs> well, sir, Piers Morgan told me. I oh. mean, I think The Clash wrote a song about it. <laughs> yeah, Did they? about the, the, effect, the clampdown. About the yes. clampdown. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I Fought the Law was uh, vaguely yep. about it, tangentially. Yep, yep, absolutely. And London Calling, because yeah, they had know, to, there was, yeah, they they, there was a lot of calling in the city of London. Long distance people, calls are very expensive. That whole song when people is just realize that the long Prince distance Phillip, rates. Yes. To space. Yes. <laughs> to space, yes. <laughs> Well, anyway. they put out Buckingham Palace put out the story that Prince Philip had died peacefully surrounded by family. And of course, that's what everyone thinks happened. Uh, but, and I'm furious because all of our wonderful efforts uh, have gone to naught. They've been so sort of sewn up tight by the palace. Well, it's it was uh, it was unfortunate because we had an airtight plan and uh, we had the branding of the Scrooge gang that was going to be just, you know, dynamite and take over the world. And it was it's it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It went well, down. This like also this. really inter like completely interrupts your entire plan to yeah. get on that spaceship. Were, were you to able to go? Earth. Were you able to go to the, the funeral, though, and, and and cozy up to one of the royals? Well, the funeral itself was a rather small affair, but there was an after-funeral party, which was very, it was huge. Was that in the hotel lobby? <laughs> it was in the lobby of Windsor Castle, <laughs> yes, and it was really, it, it was like a three-day buck and all. But, uh, but, but here's where things get only more complicated. Uh, okay. If you remember, Lady Amelia Spencer... Right. She is single. Right. Single, Un ready to mingle. With is, she, well, is she the one that's engaged to the Grizz? Yes. OK. Well, this is what when I, when I asked Dalton Wilcox, where did you get the body to swap? He said, this is the Grizz. Whoa. What? Yes. Dalton Wilcox. And this is on his things, of his own volition. Well, he he came to feel that this was a. a Dr. Mallet, Mr. Grizzle scenario. <laughs> right, that's right. And, and so... Oh, that's right. And it was his, he was duty-bound to kill a monster. Yeah. Yes, yes. And so he shot the Grizz through the heart with a silver bullet. And just oh. to be safe, also shot him in the left thigh because sometimes <laughs> people's hearts heart are might, in their yeah, thighs. Yeah, people's yeah, hearts can happens, be moved. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, so Grizz is gone. So Lady, what's her name? Amelia, Amelia. Spencer. Amelia Spencer, she's... I mean, the Grizz has, has dropped off her radar, so maybe yes, the, she's ready to party. The Grizz is buried in Prince Philip's grave. Wow. Covered in prosthetic makeups. Whoa. Yes. 
That's what's going on. Crazy. So how does this affect Plan 1 and you getting well, up there? Well, now, and... how it affects it is that I now uh, am trying my best to woo Lady Amelia Spencer. and to How's become been her going? New husband. Well, it's, it's been difficult because she doesn't accept that the Grizz is gone. She says, oh, no, that's just the Grizz. He... he... <laughs> He disappears for a while, you know. <laughs> he goes he's off that, the Grizz. Yeah, he's that, he's that kind of guy. <laughs> the Grizz goes off the Grizz. And you know, this is typical. <laughs> this is typical Grizz biz, <laughs> right? So she's, you know, I mean, all of my sort. There's of no the... Grizzness like show Grizzness. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, so she's not receptive to your charms as of yet. No, she keeps saying, I'm engaged, I'm engaged. Well, what would the Grizz say and all this? And I, and I, <laughs> of course, I have this inside information that he's been buried, he's dead and buried. At but what I, point do you just drop this information in her lap and say, look, I know what's really going on and I, I'm your best bet right now? That's what I'm trying to figure out. At some point, yes, just take her aside and say, listen, your fiancé has been murdered. Don't just take her aside. Take her to the grave itself and exhume the body and sh take off the prosthetics show, and you show know, You her. might have to show her. Oh, that's not Don't just tell. Idea. Show. I have to bring along yeah. some uh, alcohol swabs to get the prosthetics off. <laughs> That's probably the least of your concerns with exhuming the whole body. Uh, well, not at all. Can you now, imagine? And, going and to... also prepare her. Tell her there's going to be quite a lot of spirit gum you're going to see. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And don't worry. We're going to be able to take that off and you'll see <laughs> the grizz underneath. Can you imagine going through all the effort of exhuming a body and digging it up and then being unable to take the prosthetics off and prove what you wish to prove because you didn't bring along alcohol to get well, the if spirit you could yeah. perhaps mm. have you could bring like a a thermos of drinks like a slow gin fizz grizz sure um which is <laughs> which you could be drinking while you're exhuming the grave you know oh yes there would be drinks involved yeah this is a this is a nice little date you know out there in the cemetery and, this could uh, be romantic yeah uh, I suppose so. I and had... prompt some closure for her, and then, boom, you're right there to be the shoulder she cries on. Next thing you know, you're in outer space. Yes, yes. Well, that's Which my... is the end game, right? Being in outer space. Being in outer space is the end game. Well, that's... I think the end game is get killing Thanos. <laughs> and getting people back from the blip. Right, of course, yes. Well, this is, this is, I mean, when is plan one happening, though? Because it was supposed to happen this week... Well, yes, it seemed very imminent, but uh, I, I, it, I gather that the funeral rather sort of threw things off a bit, and and uh, and and now I wonder if perhaps they're they're considering, uh, uh, they're they're wondering what will happen with the um, uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know. Oh, so they're waiting for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to see if uh, Shana Nog legally changes their name and gets to the stage before Tina Turner. Is that what it is? Yes, because if in fact Shana Nog does not make it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, maybe then they're in the clear. Maybe Plan One would be called off. For now. Right. Well, I mean, this all just depends on, of course, the Grizz uh, being gone and the Grizz. Did being... someone mention my name? What? Wait. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, no. Byron Denniston, as I live and breathe. <laughs> what? Who's this, oh. then? <laughs> oh, what? you know who it is, me old China. Sir, announce yourself. Who are you? <laughs> it's me, the Grizz. Wait a minute. What? How can this be? We've just been told you were killed. Dalton <laughs> Wilcox murdered you with a silver bullet to the heart <laughs> and the leg. <laughs> no one kills the Grizz. <laughs> oh, my. Wait. So you're unkillable or he just didn't succeed Are you some in sort of immortal? How do you I work, mean, I don't, Grizz? I don't think I'm unkillable, but that, <laughs> that bloke didn't kill me. <laughs> Wait, oh my so, god. So you So that, far I'm unkillable. <laughs> so that was you then with the prosthetics. Oh, it was me with the prosthetics. Wait, it. so was it also you who was buried in Prince Philip's grave? Did you have to do, were you buried alive? Not the first time, dearie, and it won't be the last. <laughs> oh, my God. So are you here for revenge? <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm here for. I'm here to defend the, the honor of my girlfriend, Lady Amelia. Wow. This this is, so you did all of this for love. For love and for sex and for money. <laughs> Where's the money coming into it? Oh, I guess she's got a lot of She's it. a Spencer, yes. Money she's a, not she's a Windsor. Yeah. So you, you know everything? You know about the Scrooge gang? Everything? I know everything. 
The Scrooge gag's not going to work. It's, <laughs> Wait, did you listen to I know, episode? I know you, did you like it. To episode seven hundred. Me and Byron like it. Any time, any time I'm spoken about, I manage to hear it. I watch the world with the eyes of little birds. <laughs> Well, Grizz, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Welcome the to Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> the, I'm sorry, the Grizz. <laughs> and by the way, I would like to thank you, the Grizz, because I also was against the name uh, the Scrooge Gang. I thought, I especially point, thought it was. At this point, it's it was, a tie, and you're not even part of it anymore, the Grizz. It's, it's a bit whimsical. No, yeah. I'm not part of it, am I? I never was part of it. This is all a fantasy of your making. <laughs> Just so I understand, Dalton Wilcox did shoot you and did cover you in prosthetics to look like Prince Philip and did lay you in the street in front of Lloyd's Bank and uh, and and you were buried in Prince Philip's grave, but none of that had killed you and you managed to claw your way out and now here you are? That's right. You got it in one. <laughs> Nobody beats the Grizz. <laughs> The this Grizz, is how, shocking. This is a shocking development. <laughs> is shocking, isn't race? it? Nobody beats the Grizz. Is <laughs> Nobody <laughs> beats the Grizz. Are there T-shirts? Because I'd love to make some T-shirts. That's Nobody got to be grizz. a T-shirt. That's got to be a T-shirt. <laughs> well, the Grizz, this is <sighs> incredible. You, you, did you claw your way out of the grave? What, what exactly happened? The easiest thing in the world is to escape from a coffin. <laughs> it wants to be buried underground. Are you some sort of David Blaine type uh, illusionist? What? The, no. <laughs> the, the guy that goes in a glass box and says, I'm going to go in a glass box for a while. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so you, you have no aspirations to be any kind of uh, magician or... What I do, yeah, I he, don't do for show. I do it to survive. To a royal. He's not, he doesn't have time to be doing magic. He's engaged to a but royal. You have He's nothing the but time to do magic once you're engaged to a royal. Once you're married. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you have no time right now. <laughs> no time right now. Sorry. <laughs> no time for magic right now, mates. I've got to be on it. I've got to survive <laughs> to make it to the royal wedding that I'm going to have. Have you, have you uh, announced your presence? Have you returned back to your fiance at this point? I've been communicating with her through a series of birds. Through a series of birds? Which birds? Uh, which now, which you, series is mean, this? Do you mean actual birds, or are you in the, in the sense of, like, in Game of Thrones, like, you, the, like the little street urchins are, your, are the gossip network, those little birds? Both. The little street urchins carry actual birds. <laughs> <laughs> that wow. seems like a waste of the bird's natural talent to fly. <laughs> <laughs> These birds is all wounded, Byron, Daddy Stan. They can't fly no more. Look at this cruel prick. Think so birds you, should just be put to death, wow. summarily executed if they ever get an injury, Byron? What are you, the producers of luck, but with birds? <laughs> You're saying you've t you've written little notes to your fiance and tied them to the legs of <laughs> birds who are injured and cannot fly, and handed them to street urchins who then carry them to Lady Amelia. Did I stutter? <laughs> no, you didn't. I honestly, I think it would be more merciful to kill the birds. <laughs> Oh, you would, wouldn't you? I do. Well, that's you, isn't it? A posh toff like you. All you think about is, is it lower than me? Kill it. <laughs> I mean, Byron Dennison, I have to say, this is like, this is, as a royal watcher, yes. this must be huge news for you. This Not is... only that the Grizz is alive, foiling the Grizz is plots, alive! <laughs> but also hearing about like a specific royal method of communication heretofore unknown. Oh, it's not a royal method. Oh. It's a method from the streets. I'm a <laughs> commoner, you might say. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Got it. Had no idea. Gri oh, the wow. Grizz. Oh, you didn't? Did no, I sound like is... I come from Oxbridge, mate? Your, your, your accent is British, so very posh. The Grizz, where... where... <laughs> Where, what's your background? Where did you come from? We don't know anything about you. I other come than... from the gutter. <laughs> Are you some sort of like Oliver Twist or Fagin style uh, uh, con artist out there on the streets who's ingratiated First himself? All, Oliver Twist was not a con artist. He was an orphan, wasn't he? And Fagin was not a con artist either. He was a pickpocket. And he ran a ring of little kid pickpockets. I bet Nobody was conning anyone. People were just taking people. So would you say, are you a con artist, kind of like a Danny Ocean? 
or um, or a um, I can't remember what Brad Pitt's character's name in he, Ocean's but he ate a lot. Was. He certainly was always eating something. Shri- I think his name was Shrimp Cocktail. His name was Shrimp Cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a bad name. <laughs> Brad Pitt played a character named Shrimp Cocktail in the oh, Ocean's Danny Eleven Ocean. movies. This, yeah. this is my best friend. <laughs> this is my best shrimp friend, cocktail. Shrimp Cocktail. <laughs> at that, and, and at precisely 11.45 Shrimp Cocktail, you're going to move to the blackjack table. <laughs> How long does it take to sing the song God Save the Queen? I mean, shrimp come from the ocean, so it's not that big of a stretch. As do we all, mate. As do <laughs> we true. all. <laughs> That's true. So say we all. So say we all. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> oh, are you a sci-fi fan? I love sci-fi. Oh, really? <laughs> What's your favorite? Yeah. You an SG1 any, guy? Any, recommend, any recommendations? I'm looking for something new to watch sci-fi wise. Blake 7, of course. You've got to watch Blake 7. Well, Doctor okay. Doctor Who. Yes, Doctor Who. That's the only sci-fi that really matters, isn't it? This, wow, you on, guys are really this we along. agree, Byron. That is <laughs> oh, the <wow>. right. <laughs> good, good, good. I mean, do you have a? Do you have a? I guess uh, uh, you don't have a problem with Byron here. I mean, the guy who who shot you is Dalton Wilcox, right? I oh, mean, I've got a problem with Byron. What's your problem with me, Dalton? Will you're full of questions, ain't you, Byron? <laughs> All I'm trying to do is steal your fiance away. If and if killing you to do it is what's needed, I'm perfectly willing. Do Other you that, hear yourself, mate? <laughs> Do you hear yourself? You're shouting. Are you even aware? Of the I actually Grizz? can't hear myself that well, and that's why I do tend to shout sometimes. Oh. I do. Have, I, I do, uh, mates. Let me just say, I do have a bit of tinnitus, and so I often cannot hear myself that well. And so sometimes I will speak more loudly than I realize I'm speaking. So if I, that does happen, I do. This makes sense to the Grizz. Okay. But there is also anger. <laughs> Are you even aware, the Grizz, of the plan to take you up into space? Do you even know that that's happening and that that's one of the side benefits of marrying a royal? Are you even aware? Indeed, I am aware. And no one's going to keep me from marrying Lady Amelia and going to space or deep under the ocean or wherever she wants to go because I'm in love with her and that's the truth. (laughs) What are you going to do out in space, the Grizz? I don't know, space things? <laughs> I mean, I Collect can see Collect rocks? <laughs> Does it sound that exciting? I don't... It, what's exciting to me is being by the side of my lady love. Wow. Lady All right. Amelia. You know, it's, right. it's, what's kind of wonderful about being able to... Because, you know, previously when we were speaking to Byron a couple of weeks ago... Previously. We got this whole story and it, I, I got really wrapped up in Byron surviving the uh, apocalypse on Earth and living in space, but... But now that I'm talking to the Grizz, what I realize that at the heart of this is a love story. Yeah. You know, at the heart of this is a story about Lady Amelia and the Grizz That's and right. that their love is true. Oh, um, it's true. Well, he did mention money and sure. sex. Sure. And, that and money also, was number like, three. <laughs> and also Love survive. was number one. <laughs> sex was number two. And money was number three. Yes, yeah. for me, space you is don't number find one. Out a romantic ranking. Well, no, what are you going to do with money out in space? Are you going to turn it into space bucks? Buy rocks. Can I <laughs> okay, ask? That, that's that's that. answered. <laughs> now, here's an interesting question. Uh, well, so we'll be the Byron, <laughs> Yeah, of course. Byron, yeah. Um, knowing that you had faked Prince Philip's death using what you believed to be the corpse of the Grizz. Yes. Have you been. Trying to woo Lady Amelia as a new, uh, a new, a new person, suitor? or as Byron, or or as the Grizz. Have you been impersonating the Grizz? And if so, I'd like to hear how that's going. Well, no, I have been a new suitor, but r- rumor oh, has okay. reached my ears that Dalton Wilcox has been impersonating the Grizz, <laughs> oh. the man that he believed he killed to try. Why and get would he do to- that? Because don't don't you all want the Grizz out of the way? <laughs> we got we got to get. We, we is Dalton. I have no I really, idea. I have no idea where yeah, he is. Dalton but, around? Can we? Call I have been him trying or? to present myself as a new suitor, but Dalton, who who believed up until well, still believes that he killed the Grizz, has oh, sort of stepped it. into his shoes and tried to take his place to marry Lady Amelia. He literally stepped into my shoes, and you know what's funny is that my shoes is bigger than Dalton Wilcox's shoes, and so he's had his stuff newspaper in the toes. <laughs> it wow. is very funny. 
<laughs> wow. You can tell that on his shoes, his feet are, they look ridiculous and that on his must, body. Just that must infuriate. Toes. That must infuriate Dalton Wilcox because newspapers are usually from the city. Yeah, you he know? must hate that. He must hate he that, does all that like city He would prefer just rot. manure strewn rags instead of newspapers, yes. but that's all he could get. Kerosene like, soaked sorry. shirts. You, you yeah. feel like the equivalent of newspapers for cowboys is manure strewn <laughs> yeah. rags. They get delivered on your porch every that, day. I, I mean, like, they're wanted posters and such <laughs> did you, in the old okay. west. All right. Well, did you, see the the manure, did you see the manure soaked rag today? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Looks like it's going to rain. <laughs> Well, look, we, we well, this is an astounding development <laughs> in the is. Byron Denniston story and the Prince Philip story. And uh, unfortunately, we have to take a break. And the Grizz story. Well, the Grizz story <laughs> continues on. That's perhaps the most astounding this is development a bit of, of a, all. This, I will say, based on the theme, this is a bit of a Grizzmas story. That's true. I mean, the Scrooge gang is ready. Carol. A Christmas yeah. Carol? Are we the Christmas Carol? Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys stick around? Is that... Uh, oh, I'll be sticking around. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Uh, well, I, I, I do have a tea later with uh, Lady Amelia, but I, I, can, I can give you a little more time. Oh, wow. I regret to inform you, your lordship, <laughs> that tea has been cancelled. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see about and that, and yes. possibly Dalton Wilcox, if you're listening out there, please call in. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, if, yes, Dalton, if you're listening live, please, please call in. Yeah. I'd love to hear your impression of the Grizz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If we ever get a, uh, a uh, we hear that Zoom chime uh, open up, uh, we'll know that uh, uh, Dalton Wilcox has uh, called in to the Zoom. Uh, but we do have to get to our next guest. She is a uh, park ranger. She's one of our uh, uh, wonderful park rangers out there in our national parks. And uh, last time we talked to her, she was up in the uh, St. Louis Arch, which Byron and uh, uh, Jason, we mentioned, I believe, the last time you were on the show. Yep. Uh, and uh, we'll see what's going on with her now. Please welcome back to the show, Marjorie Kershaw. Hi, Scott. Thanks hey. for having me. Happy anniversary, one two one two. <laughs> yeah, check one two one two here. Thanks so much for being on the show. Uh, you remembered, uh, Jason. I don't know if you've ever met Jason. I don't think Lucas, we have ever this. met. It's oh lovely gosh. to meet you, Marjorie. Nice to meet you. Nice to and, meet you. And uh, of course, Byron Deniston, who's from uh, Merry Old England. Yes, indeed. Hi. You know, the Sheriff of Nottingham, etc. Yeah, yeah, okay, great. Hi, nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. Famous denizens of England, I'm lumping you in with. I've um, never been to the St. Louis Arch, uh, I, I'm, but now I, I'm excited to visit it. Now that it's a national park, I wouldn't oh, go yeah. if it was simply a, a, a thing. E oh, of, yes. oh, yeah, gateway to the West. Very and, of exciting. course, we have the Grizz here. I don't know if you've ever met the Grizz. Grizz, have you ever gone to the St. Louis Arch? Never been, but it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, my Nice lady. to meet you. Well, Scott, I'm actually not at the Arch right now no where, where what, what's happened to you i'm at arguably the jewel of the nps yosemite National park system that's right Yo, thank you're you. in yosemite i'm i'm here i'm here um didn't get transferred not working here uh just oh. took my personal time to come out and look at it because you know it's been my dream <laughs> for a long time and that's where you want to get to that's that where is i want to get to that's the big show that's the game that's uh i that's, thought you'd been called up but no you're that's just the there big, on that's uh, the big leagues that's the yeah. big league that's the, so old... the arch is kind of triple a baseball and if and... that well, yeah, you know, I've I've been sort of um, I've been making my making a name for myself through some of the lesser parks, Jason. So I um, got it. I started at Pinnacles in California, as I call them, the jazz hands of Central California. <laughs> sure. Uh, then I was uh, moved up to the gates of the Arctic, least visited park in Alaska. Dry Tortugas <laughs> in Florida, which is just a big fort. Then the Arch <laughs> during COVID, where you couldn't go in the elevator. But I'm <laughs> here on my personal time at. Well, I would say the, the best park in the, the system. crown jewel. The yeah. crown jewel. This yeah. is where this is where you want to get. But you're just there on PT. Yep, yep, yep. And unfortunately, Scott, I did suffer a, a mild ankle injury um, oh, just no. as I was going no. through the South Gate at Wawona Campground. You know, I say don't ever take a social trail, but there was a gum wrapper I wanted to get, and um, oh, oh. <laughs> no. So like, you bet. You, what happened? You stepped on a, a pebble, or yeah, I just took. I just took a. I took a route the wrong way, and uh, 
t- Timber did I go just uh, like the, just oh. like a uh, big Tim old Burton. general general Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Tim Burton. Yeah. It, it, Tim Burton's it, Alice it in Wonderland off, took me down. Started off great and interesting, <laughs> and then was terrible at the end. That's right. That's so wow. far my experience here at Old Southgate. <laughs> but you didn't you didn't like the fraptious day. <laughs> oh, Kalu Kale, it didn't work out. I chortled with my not joy in this. You situation. didn't like the fly wagon. No, twas grilling and the slithy toves did. Oops, here I trip, I go. <laughs> That'd be a fun prank for lumberjacks to play. They'd be like, Tim Burton. And then suddenly Tim Burton walks in, everyone's ducking and trying yeah. to get out of the way. And trees. instead of a lumberjack, it was Edward Scissorhands cutting yeah. down the tree. That would be funny. That would be funny. Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Better than the Scrooge gang? I Wait, so Marjorie, are you like, are you down? Are you like out of commission? I'm Do you need us ki- to send help? Oh, wow. Well, that yeah, are be- you are you broadcasting from it within the actual park? Do you need Well, help? just barely within the park. Um, you know, I didn't make it to t- <laughs> Tunnel View. Haven't seen El Cap or Half Dome yet. Haven't gone on a hike to the Cathedral Lakes. Nope. Just sitting here. Just can almost see the Grove of sequoias just can almost barely glimpse <laughs> oh, it from where i am w- but you can't see a, a, w- even an inch of it can you because no, no, you're I'm, just still just, just in the fr- in the gate I'm you're just, just in just, just the, right pr- within the, the promise gate. of it makes you the, happy oh I can boy oh boy i'm almost there <laughs> mrs is it is it true that americans drive through trees there <laughs> oh well, not within the actual park. Um, they have a drive-through with it within a tree. There are drive-through trees, but none yeah. of those exist within park boundaries. Is um, that good for a tree? No, no, certainly <laughs> not. <laughs> certainly not. Oh, I look mean, who cares about living things all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, birds are in trees. Do you care about them, <laughs> Byron? I I like birds as long as their wings work and they don't snap. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of rules. <laughs> Just that one. So do, do you need assistance? Do, are, have any of the rangers uh, come by and, and see well, you there? Or I've been trying to make some inroads. You know, I'm 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 connected with all these folks on LinkedIn, but um, I just <laughs> sure. But are they not refusing? Well, you or... know, Scott, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to spill any tea. But they are Yosemite Park Rangers, so you know they're. They're a bit of, you know, it's sort of like uh, this, they're seniors and I'm a freshman. You know, oh, they're a little bit untouchable. Hazing. Okay. So you know. if they came by, would you even would you even let them know oh that you were gosh. hurt? Or would you try and be cool and play no, it off like I, I have everything's so far, fine? I've been trying to keep it very cool. Just yeah. saying, oh, have, they, have they swung by? Have they driven by people, you? A and- couple people have driven by and say, hey, do you need any help? And I, oh, no, just getting rooted to the ground. Just trying to. <laughs> you should tell them you need Getting assistance. rooted to the ground? Just <laughs> connecting. Just, you know, just trying to reconnect. Just trying to surf those frequencies. How long have you been out there? About 18 hours, but I have, uh, I, you know, right. always carry water, so I'm all right so and far. And to be clear, you're not stuck. This no, is in a, no, no, a 127 no. hours type situation. No, you this know, is, okay. you're at about an it's an 18 hours type situation. This is just fro- frozen by my own anxiety and pride, just trying to make a good impression on the, on these Yosemite and uh, How Rangers. far away are you from the car that you arrived in? Um, so, uh, well, I actually just got dropped off on a bus. Uh, oh, didn't, didn't splurge oh. for renting a car. You know, don't just trying to make the most of my time out here. Yeah, you can't afford that on an elevator operator salary. No, no, no. (laughs) Well, uh, this is this is terrible. But oh uh, no, I'm in the park here where Muir camped with Teddy Roosevelt and said, "Hey." Ain't this a great idea? I mean, I'm I'm right there. I'm I'm almost at the valley that floor. That famous John Muir quote. <laughs> how far hey, away are you? Hey, how, isn't this hey. a great idea? <laughs> how far hey. away are you? Isn't that on a plaque at the op- at the beginning of the park? <laughs> the mountains are calling, and I must. Hey, ain't this a good idea? <laughs> How far away are you from the gate? Are you just near well, your feet? There's three gates. Uh, so oh. I'm, I am just within the south gate at Wawona <laughs> Campground. So I'm technically in the park. Just haven't okay. seen any of its more resplendent views. But if you were to scooch back even like three feet, would you be, be outside out of the, of the park? park? <laughs> okay, so you just made it right in. 
<laughs> just there. Okay. Well, it's a good place to be. Great. Oh, can't well, complain. Well, and, and you made it. Like, I mean, it, it, yeah. like you really have to like at least acknowledge and honor the victory of having made it into the park. Thank you so much. And I think you know a couple, just a little bit more, a few more hours of elevating this, and uh, and I might be able to hobble back over to my tent. So yeah. I, you know, I'm I I'm and I have. I cashed in all my sick days, all my vacation days. So oh, I have, no. I have twelve days. I just, you know, got them. It you've happened all, on day one. Wasted one of them. Yeah, well, Already. but I got a. I wish I, I got... could give you twelve more days. Twelve uh, days of Christmas. Oh, the yeah. Grizz. Twelve, <laughs> the 12 days, of days of Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> the Grizz, you're so sweet. I can see why Thank she you. fell in love with you. Thank you. <laughs> Aside from the sex. <laughs> Which is number two to you? Number two, yeah. love number That's one. That's what he calls giving her the grizz. <laughs> is that number one for her, by the way? I hope so. <laughs> the sex? <laughs> no, the oh, the what, love. The what love. are you asking? I, I was wondering what what order it was for her. She's not satisfied oh. with the six. I can tell really you yes. Just oh, that slit your face, Byron Denniston. <laughs> wow, is that the rumor, Byron? No, no, no. She told me that herself. She says I can't wow. wait for the Grizz to get back, but not for the six. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> no, it's true. They ought to call you liar and Denniston. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that was an amazing slam. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's so great to have you back, Marjorie. I. Uh, if you need help at any point during the show, just let me know and I will contact anyone you need me to contact. Oh, that is so kind. Thank and you so much. And being that you are out there in the West, you know, we know we have agents yes. who we, roam the we West. We have comedy bang bang agents out there all throughout. On horseback. All throughout the West Coast. Oh, perfect. The, on horseback looking for holes in the ground. So, you, you know, I'm <laughs> sure. sure there's plenty. Perfect. Perfect. Well, I'm pretty near a big boulder, so I might just try to hoist myself up a little Alex Honnold action, a little free solo oh, right here yeah, just, yeah. of course just lean back and just that'll change my view that alone <laughs> sure. are you lean next to in, a, like, lean back do all the leans yeah are you next to a garbage can or anything i mean i can only imagine they're right there by the gate i'm i'm pretty close to a garbage can i'm also quite close to you know the little newspaper you can get about things to do in the park that when that's oh, free, one of them what about what about any rags strewn with manure um <laughs> n- not your with shoes an shot. <laughs> is it was part of the problem that you're you're hiking boots might not have fit and they're shoved full of <laughs> manure rags, rags. rags do you know what do you know what everyone says it's important to have a snug fitting boot but i was like prove it and i went oh. i went a size up and yeah it's no good for the slide i wish oh, i had some manure no. strewn rags to put in these toes <laughs> search through that garbage can maybe they'd be well, just, just so we can fix you in space mm-hmm. you're near a big boulder a trash can <laughs> And the newspaper. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, about uh, uh, just under a yard within the South Gate. Right. You're free, you're free slides away from being out of the park entirely. Three adult scoots away from being outside the park. <laughs> well, great. Marjorie, thank you so much for making uh, the appointment to be on the show. I appreciate you, oh, my you pleasure. being on it. Yeah, I wanted to talk from, from, the, from the crown jewel. Of course. Well, uh, we, do, we do need to get to our next guest. And uh, uh, he is, uh, I, I forget exactly what state he's from. Uh, he, uh, I think he's from uh, Cincinnati, isn't he? I can't no, remember. I'm from, I'm from Wisconsin. Oh, oh yeah, you're shit. thinking of the sorry. Cincinnati Playboy. No. Oh, sorry. This is, this is, That's is... I am. <laughs> redact that. Redact <laughs> redact. <it>. Devin, <laughs> redact Redacted it. has been enacted. Uh, redacted and enacted. Thank you. He has been on the show many times. He is, uh, of course, uh, uh, the guy who says yoink whenever he steals anything. Uh, please welcome <laughs> back to the show, Randy Snuts. Oh, thanks for having me, Scott. And I apologize in advance for the chaos that's about to ensue. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean chaos that's about to ensue? I mean, wow. yeah. Okay, so I'm here too. Okay, what? Oh, it's me, Who Carissa. Is this? Carissa, Randy oh, Snuts' wow. girlfriend. Yeah. I've heard girlfriend, a Carissa. lot about you, Carissa. This is crazy. This is what is going on with this show. There's a lot of confrontations here. Yeah, this I, is, I, mean guests. I have a lot of a bone to pick with you guys, big time. A this bone to bad. pick with who? Jason Manzukis or the Grizz or Byron? not the Grizz? Surely, <laughs> probably Scott. Probably with Scott Ackerman. Yeah, well, not. with all you guys, with all his boys, with all Randy's boys on here. She <laughs> hacked. She hacked my email. She stole the Zoom and she's Zoom bombing us right now. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> no. She guessed my email password. How, well, what is your email password? 
the word 69 in lowercase? <laughs> With a hyphen? No, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, that'll throw her off the set. <laughs> I just want to say, like, I am sick and tired of him coming on here on Comedy Bangs. I think you guys are a really bad influence on him. And every time he gets off the podcast, he's a different person. And I I hate who he becomes. After he, he talks comes a on lot here. of shit about you, Carissa, I have to say. You Scott, and your scandalous behavior. Scott, please do not do this to me, man. I don't need to get double crossed. <laughs> I, I like Randy when he's at home. He's quiet. He just sits there. What? But after he comes on here, he comes back home and he thinks he's all head honcho, you know, big man on campus, big man in Wisconsin Dells. Whoa. Yeah, I am, B- I am BMOC because me and the guys cut a rug and then I'm like, I'm empowered and I get home and I'm like, I'm not putting up with this anymore. Yeah. So that, I, I mean, that's the Randy that we see. We see the Randy who talks a lot of shit and talks a lot of smack and says he's not going to put up with you. And you're saying well, once- we also see a Randy who, you know, when he talks to us, it tells us about the fact that it sounds like you are, Carissa, manipulating him in a lot of instances. Emotionally and no. physically manipulating him. Does, no. cut, does cut a rug still mean the same thing it used to? <laughs> I'm no, not he's quite sure. I, are you a professional rug cutter? <laughs> yeah, that's my current job right now. And I have a good time at work, so I just repurpose that phrase. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and me, I work at Yankee Candle, so I What is a Yankee Candle? Oh, okay. So I help with the smells and all that for the candles. What does that mean? You help with the smells. Oh. You you, so you help them to smell, smell or you don't sell the candles, you help in the development of the scents? Yeah, I help them with the smells. So like one of my latest ones is like um the hot bar at Whole Foods. Oh, <laughs> as a candle. As the entire candle. hot bar, so everything that would be in the hot bar, like chicken tenders. And yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, that kind of soups. smell where all the food goes together. Yeah, so yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's all very, it's competing pungent smells. Yeah, I guess. They have both, both types of lasagna, the meat and the vegan. <laughs> <laughs> and teriyaki chicken. <laughs> and th- there's yeah. often a gumbo in there as well, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> you have Whole Foods there in England? What do they call it there? Uh, the complete ingestibles. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> um, the one thing Byron and I can agree on: we love complete, <laughs> complete ingestibles. Complete ingestibles. ingestibles. <laughs> so I just what? want to say, this is Randy's last time on here. He's cut off. No, <laughs> he's one of our favorites. Whoa, Dafuk? Randy, Dafuk? <laughs> Randy, <laughs> he's saying Dafuk. Dafuk. It is not my last time on the podcast. Yeah, it is, Randy. This is it. So. Make make it your best one that counted. Make it count. It's impossible for it to be the best one. It's an anniversary show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's always voted on pretty high, but they're always kind of a clusterfuck. Yeah, that's true. But have you ever voted on one of those yourself? You're always like, well, I got to put the anniversary one in there. <laughs> <laughs> so you vote for your own episodes, Randy? <laughs> Yeah, I got burner accounts to spare. <laughs> okay, great. Oh, he Randy, did you get are, did you get bots to vote? Yeah, I, I always buy bots to vote. Uh, <laughs> like, unfortunately, that's the world that we live in now. You know, like everything is being like infested by bots and the Russians. And okay, who this knows is not the Randy See, that we know. I don't it's like, like when Black like Mirror ain't <laughs> This is what you guys do to him. You get him all riled up like this. And I just like it when he's at home. He sits there. He's quiet. We watch Real Housewives, <laughs> New York, and he doesn't talk. And then he comes on here and he gets all piped up. I I, he comes in piped up, I have to say. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Absolutely. Because look at what my home life is. I'm drinking sleepy tea so that I can fall so I can pass out during Real Housewives. <laughs> How dare I... you say that? You know that that's my show. That's my entire identity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm like, look, you're in front of my boys. This is my turf now. All right, Carissa. So I'm going to put you on blast. This I wouldn't is yet consider another... us to be your boys, by the way. I've never Absolutely. considered myself to be you one know of what, your boys. Randy. I'm comfortable saying that I have your back right now as you stand up for yourself. Oh yeah, disgusting. I, I, I'm for all people standing up for themselves and wanting to express themselves however they want to express themselves. So, Randy, that includes you, but uh, Carissa, that also includes you. This is, comedy bang bang is an inclusive place where we can all be whoever we want to be. No, see, I think comedy bangs is really. Just poison for his brain. You guys infect okay. him when he comes that on too. here. Sure. It's cult behavior. I don't like it. 
I totally disagree. I think that this is empowering. I come back with wind under my sails, ready to call out Carissa's deviance and scandal. How long does behavior. that last, though? Because it sounds like the minute you confront her that she just bats you back down. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't last that long. <laughs> I just want us to be, you know, like my friends back home, like like Mackenzie and her guy, Alec. You know, they they're sure. what they do is they go to different restaurants and they try different wings. And I just want a life like that with Randy. I fucking are, hate this. Are you trying them for the smells or for the taste? I'm trying it for both of them. But I thought, you know, we could have our own thing, you know, like me and Randy, you know, maybe we could go to different different restaurants and, you know, try out the bathrooms, you know, and that could be our thing. Okay. Try out the, the bathrooms? <laughs> like, see? Try them out and, what, like, destroy them? or <laughs> what, You know, wow. try them out. You know, see see if you like them, if they're good. You know, and that will restrooms be, are hard to find. Marjorie, is this, is this sh- triggering you, Marjorie? Do you need to go to the restroom right now? I can see you're sort of bouncing around in your seat. Oh, me? Oh, I was just uh, trying to get my foot free of the root. Um, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> but actually, also, really quick, um, Carissa, I, I was wondering, have you, uh, do you have any line of, yeah, I don't know, smells from the park system? Um, I got chlorine. <laughs> oh, huh. oh, uh, just, just <laughs> chlorine? Because uh, what I love most about Yankee Candle is like how all the smells have names. You know, yeah. like, like, is it called chlorine or is it called like summer skin 630? It's called uh, it's called uh, pool pee because you know that's actually oh. what that chlorine smell is is when chlorine. Oh mixes yeah, it's not activated pee. until someone actually pees. Yeah, if you, if you're if you're by a pool and you smell chlorine, it's because someone has peed in it. Yeah, exactly. Wait, Scott, is that true? Yeah, very true. Yeah. yeah. Why do you have a pool at your place? No, never. But. <laughs> That, that just made me so sad thinking about it on all the pools I've been in in the past. <laughs> sure, <yeah. laughs> that explains why every time I pee in the pool, I'm like, where's that chlorine smell coming from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, the, uh, look, Randy, we hate to not have you on the show anymore, but Carissa has lowered the boom. So it appears this is your last appearance. No way. Absolutely not. Carissa, I'm just going to get a different email and sign in. And I'll think of some kind of devious password that you'll never be able to guess. Like, I, I could guess it right now. It's all 69s and then and then 1666. Six, six. Damn it. Whoa. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a really good one. All 69s and then 666. Six, six. Randy, I feel like a lot of times you you come on and and when you leave the show, you are ready to break up with Carissa. Like your yeah. your relation, we you know, and, and so you, what you I have for a, you know what few happens at a time, yeah, yeah. What happens that that draws you back in? And I can't help but notice, and I hope this is okay. I'm saying this. I know we're all on Zoom, but it appears as though Carissa is wearing an engagement ring. No, yeah, she <laughs> she puts that on. She puts it on, and she goes out into the community and she's like, Randy proposed to me. And then it puts me in a position where I'm like, no, I didn't. And I look bad. <laughs> well, first like, it puts you in the position actually... where you say Dafuk. Yeah, like, Dafuk, this is duplicitous. <laughs> I just want people to think of me as engaged because it makes me, you know, sexier to other people. Well, are you looking for sex from other so people? So you're looking for that. I, it's not that I'm looking for sex. Like, Randy is like my rock, like my number one, but... You know, like, I, do I want to look sexy to other people? Do I want to look hot? Yeah. Number and one implies that you're looking for a number two, though, and a number three and a number four. Yeah. You know, you don't know. You know, like, I bet Randy's got other girls out there. Absolutely not. I'm not trying. I'm either trying to be at home and, like, have a peaceful time or I'm I'm going to be out with my boys. That's it. <laughs> Those are the two <laughs> the two sides of the same coin for Randy Snuts. Yeah. I mean, Carissa is a smoke show to me. So, you know, if you're coming at me for, like not wanting to be with her, you better, you're coming incorrect is what's yeah. happening. How dare you say that? How dare you imply that? I've got a question for these two love sure. birds. Sure, sure. Randy, turn off your audio so you can't hear. <laughs> okay, I'm, all right, here we go. Carissa, explain this all to me. How do you rank the following things? <laughs> love, sex, money. Put them in a numerical order. Um, what you like the best being first and what you like the least being last. Okay, so for sure, money first. Mm, okay. <laughs> for does sure. Randy ha- does Randy have a lot of money? No, he's, but my yeah, dad he's... does. My dad has oh, a okay. cement factory. The cement <laughs> factory? Sure. Yeah. I'm so- Can I add going into space? Yeah, uh, one let's of put the, that in One there. of the things on the list. <laughs> does that supplant your number one or... <laughs> 
I think that'd be number two for me. I think I'd love oh, okay. to go up there. I'd love so first to money and then going into space. Yeah. And then Randy, you know, he he's good at sex sometimes when he's <laughs> sober. <laughs> <laughs> how often is that though <laughs> it's so rare <laughs> yeah but it's good when he's sober i don't know yeah. i mean i don't know what, what, what makes it bad when me. he's what makes it bad when he's not sober is it uh is he he's just you know he's not engaged like oh. you know he's like watching tv and stuff or he's eating <laughs> food <laughs> the things we all do when we're drunk <laughs> wow you know this really illustrates to us what an unreliable narrator Randy has been on his past appearances. It really because is. He's always saying how duplicitous Carissa is and how she cheats on him and how she is manipulating him and that this casts a whole new light on things. This is really interesting. I mean, it sounds to me like he's a drunk who's not even good at sex. <laughs> what did yeah, I miss? <laughs> oh, hey, Randy, you're back. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Carissa Love, what was your final ranking? So money first, then space. <laughs> then I guess sober sex and then love. Right. Okay. <laughs> now, Randy, Randy, you've got uh -huh. to rank the following things. Okay. Money, going into space, sex. Sober love. sex and drunk sex. Sober sex slash drunk sex. So what, what is your order of preference? What do you like most to least? All right, if I had to pick just one, I'd say going into space. No, not just one. <laughs> listen! <laughs> Randy. Please listen, Focus. Randy! Focus. My fault. All right, sorry. You got to rank them. Okay, all right. I would pick going into space. Then I would pick drunk sex because you get to eat and watch TV at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> then, I would, then I would pick money because you could buy whatever food you want or DVDs to watch while you're having drunk no, sex. No, we know what money is used for. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, then I would pick love because it's beautiful and fleeting. Uh, <laughs> and then I would pick sober sex because it feels good. I mean, we'd have to build this list out because those are top five things like in general. I, it's hard to rank them. Right. Yeah. So they're all, all maybe tied for first for you. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Wow. OK. Well, uh, uh, the Grizz, why did you ask this? An interesting window into their relationship <laughs> and why they may have the problems that they have. Did that clear it up for you? Now, no, I, I'm, I'm still I'm, confused. I'm, I'm curious. I, I wasn't. Grizz, I didn't mean you, love. I didn't mean you. The Grizz, oh. are you and Ami I, Lady Amelia in couples counseling? Is this something that you learned in couples counseling or in therapy of some sort? I, I am a couples counselor. You are a couple. What? Wow. We didn't know that about you, the Grizz. You didn't know that about the Grizz. <laughs> <laughs> Was having a big anniversary show. I just thought I'd check in and say, hey, wait, wait, who the hell is that? Who the My hell shoes. Is that? What the goddamn? What's going on? I killed you. You thought you did, Dalton Wilcox, but nobody beats the Grizz. <laughs> Dang it. They told me that when I was going up against you. I was, you never saw that T-shirt? I was specifically warned on three separate occasions nobody beats the Grizz. <laughs> Bless it. That, that can't be the case. I shot you in the heart and the leg. That's right, but I had a portrait of the queen done on a tin plate that was stuck right in my jacket, and the leg thing was not, it was not fatal. <laughs> <laughs> so you are wounded in the leg. Yeah, it, 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 it hurt, it hurt. It's, oh, okay. Uh, but that was, that was, uh, that was tough. That was tough. Well, well, well welcome to the show, Dalton Wilcox. Uh, it's great good. To have I know you you've got a lot of other guests. I was literally just popping in to say hi, happy anniversary, and you can oh, buy you my so book. Uh, <laughs> Which one? <laughs> you must buy your wife at least as much jewelry as you buy your horse and other poems and observations, humorous and otherwise from a life on the range by Dalton Wilcox. You can pick that up anywhere where they're <laughs> selling books and even some places where they ain't. Sure, yeah. What about the <laughs> sequel book? Oh, the sequel book? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you still have to buy your wife at least as much <laughs> jewelry as you buy your horse. And uh, even more poems and additional observations from a life still being lived on the range by Dalton Wilcox, who wrote the first book. <laughs> by Dalton <laughs> Wilcox. Yeah, and that third one, though. There the is, third a, third, one, there is uh, a third one. There is a third one. 
I've never <laughs> seen a cow- on the spot. No, I've never <laughs> seen a cowboy eat hummus. <laughs> <laughs> and, hang on, wait a minute. There it is right here. God damn, wait, no, I've never seen a cowboy eat hummus. <laughs> And other foods that cowboys have also not eaten in my presence, in addition to poems and observations about living life on the range, humorous and otherwise by Dalton Wilcox. Okay, very good. Well, uh, <laughs> Those are the I'm, three sorry books. To, I'm sorry to surprise you with the presence of the Grizz here, but uh, apparently you didn't surprise. do the job. Surprise! It's the Grizz. <laughs> I'm shocked because I swear to God, I, I thought I killed. I went all the way to goddamn England to kill this guy. Um, and he, this is a real, this is the real Grizz. This is not the ghost of Grizzmas past. This is the Grizz. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, I know that because I'm not asleep. But uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I've been, you know, I've been posing as the Grizz. I've been, I've been yeah. what I do is I, I find a rag and I soak it in some manure and I stuff it into his shoes. <laughs> sure. And I put those shoes on and then I'm the Grizz. So uh, let's hear a little bit of your Grizz. Maybe we, we could have a Grizz off. I bet, yeah, I've been fooling people left and right. Look, here here comes the Grizz. I say, oh, what? I'm an English man. And uh, here I am, a, a chip chop Cheerio. And it's me, the Grizz. <laughs> it's, too, it's too good. It's too good. <laughs> Which one of us said that? <laughs> well, I, I, now that you know the Grizz is alive, are you going to abdicate the role of the Grizz? Uh, nope. I think we'll carry on as two Grizzes. <laughs> two Grizzes? <laughs> this is unprecedented. There could be only one. <laughs> does, does, does the United Kingdom have room for two Grizzes? No, it's does, very oh, small. Does Lady, does Lady Amelia's heart have room for two grizzes? Is another. She question. has four chambers in her heart. Could you each share? Why? Two Lady them? Amelia is in love with me. Oh, she's, Byron Dennison, as the new suitor? She's already right. in love with she's, the new suitor? She's deeply in love with me. And she's in love with me, the grizz. Well, she's in love with me, the grizz. <laughs> <laughs> so she's in love with three people, three different people. She's got a big heart, that girl. She can love everyone in the world. But she can wow. only take one of us into space. It's true. I well, don't know. well, well. Yeah, it seems we we've got this? a Manchester standoff. <laughs> <laughs> how are we going to settle this before Sean Anat ascends the stage before Tina Turner? I mean, it seems unlikely we're going to settle it in this episode. Sure. <laughs> we probably don't want to do it in an anniversary episode. We want yeah, there's like six more people tr- yeah. waiting to get in. It, it's going to be really cool. It, it should be in a main episode. Yeah. I'm happy to table it. People's time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll tell you what. Why don't we, uh, we're about to go to a break. Uh, how, are any of you leaving? <laughs> or, Excuse uh, me <laughs> while I disappear. I think, uh, <laughs> oh, no. I think uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and, and sign off, Scott, just to maintain a little bit of energy while I still have daylight. Um, I understand. Yeah. Plus, I'm going to uh, head up to I'm going to head up the uh, to Yosemite. I heard there was a, a person in trouble. Oh, that would be great. Could you make sure you go through the south gate? Um, uh, I, I, I could yeah. use a little I'm three humans, three, three human adult scoots in from the gate by a trash can <laughs> and a big boulder near Sweetheart. a newspaper, but not just close gallop to read. in. And if you can scoop her off of the ground, that would be, you know, and onto the back of your tremendous. horse, I'm going to go in the west entrance. <laughs> and, that's, no, and that's a good no. choice. Honestly, oh, I get it. That, honestly, you're gonna it's have one of the better ones. Oh, yeah, you're going to have a great approach to the park. <laughs> I'll uh, make my way down to the south entrance if you like, enjoy, but I'm going in the west. Absolutely. I mean, and I, and I wouldn't discourage it. Have a great time. Enjoy that Valley of Light. All Dalton, right. so great to so great to see you. Uh, so long, Byron. Are you sticking around? Or? Uh, I think uh, yes, for a little while longer. Okay, great. I don't know. Okay, but the Grizz, you you're Grizz appearing. <laughs> you had such a good exit, or 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 Brexit, I guess. Grizz, the Grizz, Grexit. <laughs> Grexit. Okay. Grexit. All right. All right. Grexit. Stage left. Uh, Randy, what are you doing? Scott, uh, we're off to argue with each other in the backyard. Got it. Okay. Understood. <laughs> yeah. so, I appreciate this. I'll remember every single one of you that sided with Carissa the next time I am on the podcast. <laughs> okay. Just it's come up with a new password. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, we have so much more show to get to. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang. We are back. 12th anniversary episode. Uh, so many people left during the break, but we're still here, of course, with Jason Manzoukas. The J-Dog is here. Hey-o. 
And of so course, happy to be here. Robert and Andy from Manchester Orchestra still Hello. here. The Million Masks of God, a great album people can listen to. A lot of people left during the break, but we have someone back here uh, who just joined the Zoom. And uh, we were roommates for a little while uh, during the pan. Uh, during the Demi, and uh, we have the split Demi up Moore. since then. Yeah, during the uh, disclo- full disclosure, during the Demi, we were roommates. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm calling it Pandy. But pandy, you know, I like yeah. it. Yeah, sort of like um, designer. Pandy, 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 Pandy. <laughs> pandy. Mindy. Um, please welcome back to the show. Uh, I don't know whether he has it previously, but please welcome back Sprague the Whisperer, Scotty the Arkman. How are you, Scott? Doing so good, Sprague. So oh. I mean. I know I moved out, but I miss you, bud. It's so I great to see you. I miss you too, my bud. The Zooks man is here. Uh, Look Sprague, at this guy. Uh, Sprague, I'll be honest. I mentioned you earlier at the beginning of the show when people were introduced who had a yeah. lot of back exposition. And I Byron said, Dennison what we need. Byron really needed a previously What we need on, was honest. a Sprague the Whisperer previously mm-hmm. on Comedy Bang Bang. Well, here's the thing. I don't think Sprague did that. I think that might have been a Rudy North thing. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just for the what? fans. You know, look, I'll say, oh, I will say, shit. this character, of course, is of, of, obsessed with canon, so I could see understanding the mix-up. My there. sincerest apologies. That is a Rudy yeah. North. I'm <laughs> so CBB sorry. The CBB wiki is going crazy right now. Oh, you know, yeah, they're, they're constantly trying to update and then delete, then update, then delete. Like, a lot. Let me, have you ever heard this? Previously on Comedy Bang Bang. No, it didn't it have the yeah, same. It doesn't yeah, work. You yeah. know what I mean? You have such a weak, feckless voice. It's yeah. like a little, I'm like a little cock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. Well, Scott, I want, I'm, so, let me just say, Scott, I am so happy to be here, but I'm, I'm a little bit sad, Scott, because I know it's the oh, 12th no. anniversary, Scott. Yeah, we're closing out the 12th year and we're about we're to embark out. upon the 13th. Oh, we've done a dozen years. And Scott, I had a gift. I was going to get you a gift and I couldn't get oh, it, Scott. Oh, no. What did you have for me? So, of course, we all know traditionally the 12th year is the year of the pearl, Scott. <laughs> Wow. Yes. I was hoping As for a pearl know. necklace from you. And, and yes, Scott, I was going to try to get you some pearls. So first of all, I Googled. I, first thing I did was I was like, are pearls marbles? Because like, I'm not sure. Such <laughs> a good meaning question. Meaning like marbles, the kids game? Marbles? Yeah. Like I, I remember I was like, okay, I want to get this guy some pearls, but are they just, those just marbles, you know? So I looked that up. And it, were there any results? Did you get, to, I, the, yes. did you get yes. to the bottom of it? <laughs> yes, because it immediately says, it says, we understand why you're asking this question. That's what Yahoo Answers says. Mm, okay, they're very kind. <laughs> That's what it says. It says, I understand why you're asking this question. And, well, of course, you know, pearls come from, I guess, the ocean. Yeah, yeah. oyster mouths. Yep. Yeah, so I, so okay, so uh, this oyster mouth thing, I had to really, so apparently they collect sand and through the filtering of it, they create this pearl. I, I had a really fun time watching some documentaries about that, Scott. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just right. took a while. I watched a few docs, and w- looked up some right. YouTube videos. There's a lot of time lapse sort of like descriptions of what it might look like for a pearl to form, but no one really knows. It's such a mystery, Scott. It's really fun. Well, sure, those oysters, they have their uh, their mouths closed the whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when it's they open like it back have, up, there's a pearl. We don't have yeah. cameras inside We don't have an oyster, oyster cam. Yeah, we, we, I think, wait a minute. Should we figure that out? Should we figure out an oyster? This is not the way. Idea. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a, 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 a GoPro. <laughs> that's, to the inside. A, that's a Pornhub search. I think... <laughs> Add Uh-oh. brother and sister in there, and you got. Are we dripping milk right now? Is that just oh like, no? Yeah. We're, ta- we're talking tang. We're talking the tang, tang. The, the tangy brine of the salt water <laughs> on Gosh, a I don't want to know what was happening before I was on this thing because I know, yeah. Yeah. we, we had the grizz here. All sorts of stuff was going on. Oh, the on. grizz was here. Well, that's so. Anyways, I figured out this this clam thing. So that was one thing. So that took me a couple of days, Scott. And okay. then I was like, all right, so I got to get some pearls. So first of all, got to learn how to scuba dive. Oh, sure. I, I guess if you really want to go from, mm-hmm. from farm to table with a yeah, pearl. So I, yeah. so I went to one of those resorts where they teach you how to scuba dive in the little mini pool, you know, and they put the thing on me. I could not stop having a panic attack, Scotty. Oh, yeah. Well, it's tough, you know. I mean, to have a self-contained underwater breathing apparatus strapped to you. Yeah. It you really know. is, you know, it's a lot of machinery. And, uh, and then man was next maybe thing you know, not meant to breathe underwater. I was yeah. going to say, next thing you know, you're underwater where it's like, yeah. that's yeah. very dangerous and claustrophobic. So, so right now I'm doing some immersion therapy to figure that out, Scott. But as soon as I figure out how to do that, I'm going to get you some pills. You don't need to give your... me anything, Sprague. But Scott, it's just your 12th your... anniversary. I, I just no. have, I feel like I failed you, Scott. No, Sprague, you could never fail me. As tight I... as we are. 
oh, Scotty, I just, you know, I came here empty handed. I don't know what I'm going to do, Scott. You know what it is? You know what I'll do? Maybe I'll come up with a new podcast idea for us okay. to do. Okay, well, I don't gift. know about Maybe that. Maybe I think that I, might be something. I mean, it could be the gift of the podcast. I do have to say, last week we talked about how I'd never seen Space Jam. And, I was uh, listening to that, and I'm going to say, <laughs> there's at least two episodes. Because there's, <laughs> yeah, sure, Space Jam 1, Space Jam 2. We bring, it, yeah, we, bring in, we bring in Langston, me, you, Langston. We watch the two Space Jam <laughs> movies. <laughs> Sounds fun. All right. I mean. and, and we do, and I say we do a pod for every 30 minutes. Let's okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Look, I'm easy. Or, I'll, I, you know, if it's Space Jam, you should do a pod for every character. Oh. Now this, yes, we do it And just their follow their chronology. <laughs> yes. What their, what their pod so why is. Space is, Jam uh, Rashomon. Yeah, so, it's, it's, so what Marvin the Martian's whole experience previous to and then arriving at the game, so we understand his whole storyline. You know, this is everybody. Great. Because, you know, I heard in this next one, there's going to be like hundreds of characters from the Warner Brothers IP. So we could yeah. do episodes from the perspective of the guys from A Clockwork Orange, you know? Like, yeah, or, yeah, sure. or, or Voldemort. <laughs> or Voldemort. <laughs> there's a lot of really weird people in the crowd if you look at the... the uh, yeah, or what about Ellen DeGeneres from her show? Sure. Yeah. She tapes on the Warner Brothers lot. She yep. does. Wait a minute. That's good. They could pop out. Okay, she, Scott, she, she just great. yell at all the basketball players. Okay, here's what we do, Scott. We're writing we're writing Space Jam 3, which is the Space Jam Rashomon. So okay. we've got to Space follow Jam 3, every, Rashomon Ninja. Rashomon Ninja. And we have to go back and follow every character so we can figure out the timeline so we can sort of do an end game sort of like time travel back into like this was when this Lola Bunny was backstage Ooh, and then, Is it like a multiverse? I is think we're like, doing a multiverse right now. I yeah. think we're figuring it out. This is uh, great. This is a space so so you're suggesting Space Jam is a multiverse. Yes. I'm yeah. calling it the Jamaverse. Okay. <laughs> Are, are the I've are, anointed it the Jamaverse. Are the characters from the the back in action verse there? Because you know, famously, I wrote one joke in Looney Tunes back in action. So, <laughs> well, we could bring those in, Scott. We can bring <laughs> okay. in all the versions of the I've Looney experience Tunes here. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. We can do it all, Scott. This is great. I think this. All is right. Well, Sprague, this is a good idea. I'm glad to have it, Jason. As long as we all are in agreement that Peppy the Peppy Le Pew is out. No, he is no, no, canceled. No, 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 no. He's Actually, out. what we do is we do an episode where we say we want to talk about this the significance of Pepe Le Pew in this movie and then we do two hours of silence <laughs> okay great <laughs> that sounds With good maybe like in the middle we do like a four hymns commercial or something can you do two hours of silence I'm not quite sure <laughs> no Scott I would have to mute that is John Cage's <laughs> podcast <laughs> oh yeah that's someone else's pod that's oh yes I can't well Sprague uh, uh, this is a you have a deal if we can get Langston Langston's very All busy right. though so I did come with a gift this is great okay yeah a brand new podcast <laughs> idea <laughs> I got a brand new pod <laughs> Oh, he's got a new that. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty too. Oh no. The CBB wiki's going crazy. <laughs> check, check. Sound speeds. Wait. Sound speeds. Check. I know I know who what this is. Hello? Is. What's happening here? It's working. Scott. <laughs> who is it? Je is this Gino? It, yes, this is Gino Lombardo. I received Gino Lombardo, you sound so far away. I am. I'm all the way out at Hexia State Park at the end of Southern State Parkway. Almost in Suffolk County, <laughs> I don't know County, where that Long is. You're so out of breath. That by train. Is that uh, what the setup he wants? How do you get that by train? <laughs> yeah, how do you get that it's by a, train? Is that the what Southern you State Parkway is a highway. You get oh, you use okay, a car. Okay. Jesus Christ, what are you? A uh, comedy bang bang <laughs> listener on any social media platform? <laughs> Any Gino. other reference to this character is fine. <laughs> Hello, Scott. Gino. I'm at a CIA black site. I'm sorry, I had to call you. What? I'm being, I'm being deprogrammed. What happened to you? Uh, obviously, uh, the last we've heard of you is in your own show, the Gina Lombardo show. There was a really funny uh, final episode that a, a great guy <laughs> well, uh, guest starred on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I didn't know it was going to be the season finale, but you guessed it on the last episode of season two, and things got a little hairy. I... I, I, I gained too much clout. I touched the live wire that is the right wing comedy fans. I got a taste of the juice of the success and the money, and I couldn't get away from it. And shit fucking spiraled. I had fucking Scaramucci on the pod. That was fun. <laughs> then I get Jordan Peterson. Next thing I know, my Patreon's got 25,000 subscribers, and I'm trying to come up with hot takes about how kids need to get shot and shit, and I, and I don't even know. Scott, no. I'm in too deep, man. The no, money no, is no, too no, no, good. No, hold on. Devin, we should get this clean so we could put it in before 
previously on the Gino Lombardo podcast. <laughs> no, okay. your voice, your voice is too but weak and feckless. It's too it's feckless. I can't do it. Also, that. isn't that Rudy's thing? <laughs> it, I is, it is. But I just do feel like that was a pretty good previously it on. We got previous. what we oh, needed. Yeah. No, we got what we needed. So what? What are? What is happening right now? Right now, well. I don't want to get into too many details, but the CIA is deprogramming me, and I'm sorry, I'm a little fuzzy. I'm it's day one after my shot, so I'm, wow. I'm being oh, a little. Wait, you're second. just day one on your deprogramming? No, so no, I, they are shooting me up every day with assorted. Uh, I got saltpeter yesterday, and then uh, truth mm. serum today, and then lying serum two days ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it was it's, uh, distilled uh, screenplay pages from Jim Carrey's Liar Liar. Oh, they, were able well, to, they figured out how to distill them. They figured those. it out. They've been in the Lab not exactly. Not it out. They, I wish. They cracked the liar liar code. <laughs> my goodness. I mean, Gino, this is, I mean, I'm scared for you, my bruv. You should be. Shit Are you on is, the run right now? I, I wish I was on the run. They got me fucking in a, uh, Above ground pool filled with cement up to my waist. <laughs> oh, so I'm no. stuck. I'm like a centaur where the bottom half of me how is you, a above ground you, pool filled with cement. How do you do number ones and number twos? I'm not positive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just I every feel, once in a while, the above ground pool expands slightly. I feel the sensation. Like it feels like I'm urinating and shitting, but I don't, I don't. Feel oh the relief. It's kind of like Gino, a, Gino, Gino, like a crack, like in an earthquake or something. You're building up a lot of pressure there. I'm scared for you, Gino. Well, Gino, we we need you out of there so you can finally go back to your own show so you can clear up all of your canon so then you can come back to this show and it's not oh, weird. wouldn't that be perfect? <laughs> well, if only, <laughs> if only all the things that have happened to me have been previously recorded, we could <laughs> output it in a very easy to listen to series for Stitcher <laughs> sure. Premium. <laughs> Ooh, I well, <laughs> we could do a third season of Gino Lombardo on Stitcher Premium explaining what's happened to me in my interim, oh. which would allow me to just come back to a to podcast just, that's yeah, easy to track on. down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we wouldn't have to go through all this. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, no more but sports But unfortunately, dudes. that's not the case. That's not the case. That sports, is the case. Sports dudes were great. Please. Sports dudes, I'm a huge fan. I was able to get those guys <laughs> in the CIA black site. We have Stitcher oh, Premium here. here. The CIA was one of the few people to figure it out. <laughs> They love the interface. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're Gino, always on Reddit saying the interface is great. Look, Gino, thank you so much for being on. I mean, and, and making some time for us. I really appreciate it. Okay. Oh shit. All right, I have to go. Thank mm -hmm. you, Gino. Bye. Scott, oh, we, wow. we might need to get that guy at, at Canon Rehab, Scott, because need, he's, yeah. he's ODing over there. Well, uh, wow, that, and incredible. Dude, this is just a star-studded episode. Uh, uh, Andy and Robert, what do you think about all that? I'm, I'm blown away. <laughs> 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 these guys, like I said before, these guys are these guys are monopolizing too much of the episode. <laughs> yeah, guys, <laughs> cut, cut it down. <laughs> oh. Just sitting uh, in amazement, slowly crying. <laughs> All right. Well, we do need to get to our next guest. Uh, they uh, are coming on together. And uh, uh, this is interesting. I guess they're from the world of sports, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is the first time they've uh, ever been on the show, maybe, or maybe they have. I, I don't quite know. All I have is their names here. But uh, please welcome to the show, Charles Barkley and Rabbi Bill Walton. <laughs> Shalom, Scott. Hey. Shalom, Scott Ackerman. Scott, <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> I, I sure do appreciate it, Scott. I, I, I tell you, I, I don't really do too many, uh, <laughs> you know, podcasticals and, and things like that. And I just want to say thank you. I'm here with my friends. So really, uh, yeah, truly. Wait. Now, you asked me to pronounce your name Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley, yes. Charles Barkley, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let my friend Bill tell you why. Well, first of all, Scott, happy to be on Comedy Bang Bang. Yes. With, with some of my favorite, Spring the Whisperer, one of the great whisperers of all time. From I love this guy's energy. One of the yin-yang twins to the other of the yin-yang twins. <laughs> wow, he runs the gamut. <laughs> wow. Not to mention a Manchester Orchestra, one of the great orchestras of all time, from unknown mortal to uh, the, uh, the Hollywood Siberian. Mahavishnu. There we go. Do you need more help than 
in previous appearances <laughs> <laughs> with completing your analogies? Oh, I made it. I made it. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, kill a little time with us and ums. It's the sure. classic announcer's uh, trick. You have just you fill been, space. Yeah. Have you been on the show before, or are you new? <laughs> I've been on the show before, Scott. <laughs> okay, but, right. but not in this capacity. Charles and I, and by the way, Jason Manzoukas, one of the great Jasons of all time. From sure. the purveyor of a deli, Jason's Deli, down the street from me on Oracle Road in Tucson, Arizona, to Jason... Uh, Voorhees. Oh, Voorhees. Voorhees. <laughs> the, one of the great murderers of all time, of course. <laughs> sure, of course. <laughs> Pro- I'm I'm also a prolific murderer. You forgot to mention the electric light orchestra. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank and you, Carl. I am, I am Mr. Blue Guy because I forgot that and I am sad I missed it. Do you think they're saying Mr. Blue Guy? <laughs> yes. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Blue Guy, please tell us why you had to hide away. You're so oh, sad. Okay. All right. But, but Carl's and I are here. Yeah, tell because- us what is your deal because I don't, I, I'm not quite uh, <laughs> grasping what, <laughs> what you guys are. Yeah, are you guys Jewish now? <laughs> We're Jewish now. Thank you. And we are right. doing what we do for every podcast when it reaches its 12th or 13th year. The bar or bot mitzvah, or as oh. we call it for this one, oh. the Scott mitzvah. Oh, I Happy understand Scott now. <laughs> I see. This is a rite of passage. The Scott this. mitzvah. Thank you. Allow me to explain, Scott. So you, your podcast is a man now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, thank you, Charles. I think Bill actually, Rabbi Bill rather, Explained it. Wait a uh, minute. Uh, I have a question, Charles. I didn't know you were Charles. When, Charles. Charles, like <laughs> Hollowbread. When, when, when did you convert? I didn't know this was a part of your personality, Charles. I'm glad you asked, Spray Goo. Now, <laughs> okay, <laughs> when, I like that too. I com- I converted uh, not too long ago. I I just I, I was I was in Miami, and I had uh, I was looking for a place. That could serve a uh, mazza ball soup because I had COVID. And, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and I heard that that was the best for it. And so I walked to this place and I, and I looked at all the teachings that they had on the menu. And <laughs> Wait, you I went said, right to the source of where the mazza ball soup yeah, is. It's not I a said, restaurant. I'm going to do this here. Okay. And that's exactly what I did. I'm going to do this now. Okay. Wow. And and then Rabbi Bill, I didn't realize you were a, a, a rabbi. I didn't even I be- realize you were part of the tribe. I became rabbinically ordained when I realized so many podcasts were entering into their manhood or womanhood year, and they needed to okay, be yeah. welcomed into it. Yeah. yeah are uh, you going to be on WTF? <laughs> Yes, I did a bar ma- marks the. I did a bar marks the. Uh, it is thirteenth year, and we well, we got into it, and I wept. I wept at the beauty of the occasion, and Charles joined me on that. Of course, we do dual because we're each kind of half Jewish. What we know about the religion and put together we're one full Jew. I was there. I said, Mark. Every time I listen to your show. You talk so much about them damn cats at the beginning of the show. <laughs> and I just want to hear, I just want to hear the comedian come on and talk about his life. I want to hear what David Tell got to say. I don't care about them damn cats, Mark. I want to hear what President Obama got to say. <laughs> Charles Barkley the- stole <laughs> Boomer. We were in there and Carl stole what? Boomer and ran no! off with him. Yes. Oh, Charles. I Put took that back. cat. I took that cat and I took him right to the zoo. Because that's where cats belong. That's not where cats belong. Cats they're, belong at the zoo. domesticated animals. It's Although interesting because some if, cats, you know, some cats do belong in the zoo. Like that's true. Well, yeah. Something. Like yeah. big cats. Yeah. But yeah, I would yeah. think if you brought a house cat to the zoo and let it loose, that it is essentially feeding that yeah, cat feeding the to lions. larger predators. Yeah. 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 The with, with someone as big as Charles Barkley, it's like any cat's just like, yeah, fucking panther. That's like a house cat to me. I'm a big guy. So I understand the confusion. That's exactly why I took the cat. I took the cat <laughs> right to the panther den. And I walked <laughs> right in the panther den. I said, listen here now, this cat is going to live with y'all. So feed it right. And, you know, do what you got to do. I don't know what y'all eat, birds, uh, turtles, <laughs> something like that. Oh no! But, uh, so, so Boomer's gone. Boomer's definitely not living. I probably the is. With this the man Panthers. communicates with animals is incredible. Carl's had a way with the Panthers that I've never seen. Are you guys when you do this? Are you going to the zoo like off hours? Like, are the gates locked? 
I just stepped right over the gate. Me and Bill just stepped right over it. <laughs> uh, okay. See, zoo, zoos are not protected against basketball players. That's the yeah, one, their one weakness. Yeah. yeah. yeah every um. zoo disappearance you've ever heard of was actually a basketball player theft uh, all through history. <laughs> from the great snake of the Brooklyn Zoo to, of course, the murder of uh, Harambe, rest in peace, was killed oh, by shit. Bill Russell. Bill Russell oh, shot Harambe. Wow. Russell oh, what? Huge reveal. Whoa. Bill Russell shot that gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Well, well guys, I, I, I'm seeing someone else just came on the Zoom. I, I hope you don't mind if I introduce her. Uh, I, I don't know anything about this person other than they are an actor. But please welcome to the show for the first time, Charlotte Hornet. Hi, Scott. Hi. Hey. hey, so nice to meet you. This Hi. is Sprague the Whisperer. Hi. I'm Hi, Sprague, Sprague, super producer. Of course, Sprague the Whisperer. Awesome. This is Jason Manzoukas, who you may remember from The Dictator. It's nice awesome. to meet you, Charlotte. Did you ever awesome. see The Dictator? Um, I was in a movie called The Dictator. Oh, wow. Really? But yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it uh, spelled what? the same way? <laughs> oh, it was spelled D I C K. T A T E R. Oh, yeah. okay. here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna have to maybe get off. I don't know if I could be around for this. Court. I, this what? is gonna get crazy. Wait, wait. what do you? <laughs> you just get off when things get crazy. Come Here's on. the thing. I'm. I'm right now. I'm. I'm in. I'm in sort of a sex addicts anonymous right now. And if well, this could be triggering I didn't know that. for me. Scott, there's something I haven't talked to you about, but I don't, I don't want to get maybe we you were a sex the addict the entire time we were roommates. I I, I never heard you, uh, you know, getting down or anything like Scott, that. Scott, canonically, boots, so. that might be the case. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't I don't want the producer to leave. I feel like the producer should be here because I want to audition for stick your stick around, Sprig. Okay, yeah. I'll stick around. Okay, no. Oh problem. yeah, this is so, an audition to be on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I thought okay. it was I feel audition. like I feel yeah. like we should have that more often. Honestly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little quality control, you know? <laughs> a little QC. This is Are Manchester com- Orchestra, by the way. Hi. This is a, a Robert Hello. and Andy. They're a band called Manchester Orchestra. Very nice Amazing. Amazing. That's and then, awesome. And then nice we have Rabbi Bill you. Walton and we have Charles Barkley. Hello. Charles, How you doing? Okay. Uh, Charles, I'm great. <laughs> Charles, is this this is not the actual Charles, or is this uh, is this a different Charles? I think I think we figured out that it is th- these it are is. the people. They've just changed their names they're, they're because of their conversion to Judaism. <laughs> Becoming Jewish does not make you not a person anymore, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> I want to state that loud and clear. We are two I, full peoples. We are two I, full full Judaism peoples. You're you're one Jewish okay. man and one non-Jewish man put together. Yes. Yes, and okay. standing on top of each other's shoulders trying to get into a film. Wearing okay. a, wearing a, an enormous trench coat. Like all rabbis do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is amazing. This is so awesome to be it here. I'm amazing. so excited to be here. Well, welcome. Um, yeah, you, you want yeah, to audition? You, How can we audition Yeah, you? did you want me to slate? Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, age, my age, my sex, and my location. I oh, am... I didn't realize that people slated their locations. <laughs> that's like a, that's like I, an AOL chat room thing. Right? Age... <laughs> Age, I am 31 years old. Okay. Uh, sex, uh, yes. And location. <laughs> no, but really, what, what sex? Sex? Yeah. Well, what do you think I am, Scott? Let's play a game. Look, what do you th- Scott, there are a lot of guests on the show that I say the wrong thing, and I, I <laughs> <laughs> okay. you know, from Andre P. Neuer who, uh, to, to uh, uh, Judge Joe who, Brown. I don't know who any of those people are. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so, never heard of them. 31 uh, is so. too old for a lady to be on TV. Okay. You get three. <laughs> <laughs> for a lady to be on TV. <laughs> Charles, that was a crazy take there. Wow. What, what's so crazy about that? Did you see a 31 year old lady on TV? TV and all this high def and 4K, all the wrinkles and things. <laughs> okay. Well, no, okay. No, 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 okay. Halls. We got to let this sleep. You... Let us sleep. <laughs> okay, Scott, you get four guesses to guess what my sex is. I, I, I would imagine, I mean, your name's Charlotte. I would imagine you're uh, uh, a female, but I don't know. Wrong. Keep going. Uh, okay. Male? No, keep going. Uh, okay, do you want me to just tell you? I yeah, just tell you. I got to get it. I got to guess. Okay, okay, Sprague. Uh, doggy style. <laughs> no, my okay. favorite position is CEO. Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Got saved over here. Any fucking way. Um, I'm actually highly experienced in sex. So, oh, okay. Yes, the answer is I, yes. I don't know that that's going to come in handy on this show, but uh, comedy bang bang. It's yeah. not a porno. It's not a porno podcast. Wait, you think this is a porno podcast? 
the name would suggest it's a porno podcast, Scott. Well, sure, how's it going? when you have people on like like Dirty Man, Jason Manzukis, I understand the mistake you do. Well, yeah. How dare Jason you, Sprague? I was about, I was Jason about to Manzukis, say, do yes, you fuck? Charlotte. Do you fuck? Not, not in quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking Tang all the time, though. Sure, uh, yes, listen, I'm talking milk. Tang, yes. And I can understand Comedy Bang Bang. The title might give you the, the, the perception. It's a funny porno, right? Yeah. It, it could, you know yeah. what? Has there ever been a porn parody of Comedy Bang Bang? Question I, mark? Yeah, I don't question? think there has. I don't think it was popular enough on television. So I. That's I, too bad. I feel yeah. like sounds like an open challenge to me. I feel like, I feel like the producer spray could literally check right now. This mm-hmm. is something a producer would do. You He's probably, not the producer of this show necessarily. Yeah, He's a producer. Okay. Ninja okay. films. Yeah. Hey, I don't Scott. Know. Scott, can we start that podcast? Me and you. Are you ta- are you talking Tang to me? Uh, unfortunately, talking Tang is uh, 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 been reserved from Jason Manzukis. But oh, that is, damn. That talking Tang yeah. and drip dripping milk drip are two milk of my off podcast. Oh, okay, my this, is, this is my kind of podcast. Talking Tang yeah. and dripping milk. Okay. I guess Charlotte. Here's I, the question: What did you expect to do on sort of an audio pod, uh, audio porn podcast? Is it like yeah. is it like faking an orgasm like in when Harry met Sally or girlfriend? Or Experience. Was that a porn when Harry met Sally? <laughs> I don't know. That I, I guess hard. the title it kind of sounds like a porn. Yeah. When Harry well, I mean, the faking of the Sally. orgasm was uh, was was porn. That I was mean, the I one don't. pornographic part. I'm sure there is a porn version of when Harry met Sally. Oh, you know? Again, I feel like this is. I would love we to see Billy Crystal check. naked and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's the thing. You know, this is my work computer. You know, I can't. I be feel like we could easily it. check anybody. There's so many people on this podcast right now. I feel like anybody right now could get on a window and check. Is there a porno for just Harry? Go with, out, Harry just go out, just open the window we, and yeah, check. I don't know that yeah. we can. Well, did you want to audition? What did, yeah, did Scott, you do? what do you want yeah. me to do, Scotty? Mm. Oh, what I do don't know I, if I could be around for this. Court. This is getting a I, little I, I'm sorry, Sprague, but I'm going to keep it PG-13. Here's, here's what I think would be a good version of the audition is, is you should... The the character that you would play would arrive with a funny, specific, bizarre point of view that would okay. be introduced before any kind of sex happens. So there would okay. be so the the audition I suspect would have to do with that that character's unique. Yeah. This is uh, a masterclass in auditioning for anything. You must uh, come in with a specific point of view. Don't just say the lines. Have a point of view for your character that's interesting okay. to the people watching. Thank you, Rabbi Bill. Okay, Walton. amazing, Shalom. Rabbi. I didn't realize you <laughs> auditioned for things, Bill. I thought you were offer only. <laughs> Yes, I auditioned for uh, my giant. I auditioned for the Billy Crystal role. We might need you guys for Space Jam, the the sequel we're writing. Right? I was in the first one. Oh yes. Right. Um, okay, Bill. Should if you I were ex- in my giant, they would have had to pick an even more giant person. So is that why you didn't get the part? Well, no, it's because I refused to let anyone stand near me on an apple box. Oh, okay. Okay. I was I also start in an episode audition? of Hang with Mr. Cooper. Yeah, please start your audition, Sh- Charlotte Hornet. Okay. So interesting point of view. We haven't also, we haven't said my location. We know where I am. Hollywood, baby. Okay. So, uh, Hollywood my being point Charlotte, of view. Home of the Charlotte Hornet. No. No. Hornet is my last name. It's a pure coincidence. And also, this isn't oh. my government name. I thought this was a porno. That's my porn name, Charlotte Hornet. Oh, oh, okay. Mm. I, my, real I, I la- my real name is, my real name is uh, Charlotte Sims. So, yeah. But Oh, it, are you, you one of the Sims? My- are you one of the famous Sims? Like the video game? No, Scott. That's a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> actually joke, yeah. really... Maybe she gets comedy Ooh, and maybe wow. could just do I like, comedy. We I got like people her. from Pokemon on this okay. show. <laughs> I'm here to do a funny porno. Is everybody ready? All right, yes. I'm ready. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Point of view is that I walk in, I'm a plumber, but my pants aren't low-waisted. I'm wearing high-waisted jeans and I have a belt on, so no ass crack. Okay. So, hmm. walk in. Who wants to play with me in this? Um, I don't know. Yeah, Charles. I'm, I'm yeah. happy to. Charles, Charles, I think. I okay, think Charles so is seems Charles, everybody yeah. on this podcast is bitch made. Anybody want to play with me? I said, y'all said me. I God already damn. said I was. I got cock energy. Okay, Ch- so. okay, Chuck. Chuck, it's me and you. <laughs> Chuck, all right. Chuck, it's me and you. You call me to your house. Cuck. 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 Cuck Barkley. Cuck Barkley. Got it. Okay. All right. So, Cuck, you. Cuck, I, I come in. Please stop saying me. that. Cuck, 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 cuck. Stop it. Stop it. Cuck, cuck, cuck. What, what is this, an do? SNL sketch what from what several do? months ago? This is, what by the way, do, Scott? this oh is a God, successful is, audition. This is how you get on Comedy I'm Bang Bang. I'm cracking up right now. This is a good character. Okay. 
You're All cucking right. up, did you say? Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. So, I'm ready. Okay, so you called me over because your toilet is clogged. And okay. I am a plumber with high-waisted jeans on and a belt. You initiate, and I'll go from there. All right. Excuse me, Mr. Plumber. I took a big old massive dookie in the toilet, and I didn't have no toilet paper. And so I used the old piece of T-shirt that I had lying around. But a I forgot that t- what. I'm sorry. You had a piece of T-shirt laying around? Just yeah. one piece? Yeah. Sometimes I like to rip the T-shirt uh, with it too tight around my neck. I rip it down the front a little bit, and I take a nice little V out. And uh, I have one laying around. So you can I just buy V-neck T-shirts, girls. <laughs> Hold on, you're not in the scene. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I thought it was your roommate. You, oh, you live with me? <laughs> sure. Okay. okay. Well, this so is my roommate. Scott's I'm like, I'm, okay. I'm like, you know, a freeloading part of your podcast. Okay. Well, well, okay, Scott, don't you can show us without telling us, and oh, that's okay. improv, and okay. that's yeah. actually improv. Yeah. So you know show a lot us. about improv. She's she's because, very good at this. Because she's okay, very I actually good. studied. I actually study at oh, the where? Upright Citizens Brigade. Um, the porn charity of that? The, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> the upright yeah, caucus. You got a question uh, here? Wait, we got a question. What do you I just question? had an update. I did look for the Harry Met Sally. Um, and oh, what do we one. got? Harry Thank ate you. Sally. Oh, that's oh, pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. good. Doesn't rhyme feeling. with Met, so that's, yeah. you know, points off for that. It, should be, it, it should be Harry ate Sally's ass. For the millennials. <laughs> what about, what about like, why is seven afraid be... of nine, seven, eight, nine? Something right, like right, right. Or yeah. it could have been like Harry put his meat on Sally. That's right. I got to yeah. say, Charlotte, you are hilarious and also I'm... very good at sex. I will say this. <laughs> I don't know that Charlotte even needs to audition. She's like, as far show. as I'm concerned, she's got the job. I okay, think well, I've got the job. Tr- if you've got, got the, the job, job. But, but let's just hear a little bit of the scene with you <laughs> okay. and Carl. So here because, I was... Yeah. All right, Car- back in. Carl. Hold on. Okay. Red, red leather, yellow leather. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it goes. Okay. All right, I was, so I was okay. taking a big old stanky dookie, and I used a piece of a T-shirt. You did tell uh, me that already. To, so. And then this is my roommate. His name is Scott Ackerman. Hey. You may remember him from Just Shoot Me. And yeah. uh, he's one of my favorite. a very my, horny photography <laughs> student. One of my favorite actors. And uh, he lives with me now because he's falling on hard times. And uh, I took him in because I'm a nice guy. At what point do I get to chime in? <laughs> oh, the, oh, I thought you is, wanted me to. This I'm sorry. Whole, Please go ahead. Will you take a look at my whole, toilet? This is the whole initiation. <laughs> Carl's is not a very generous scene. Will you, okay. will you, will you take a look at my toilet? Initiation. Will you please take a look at my toilet? Uh, I would love to take a look at your toilet. Will you come with me? Yeah, come on. It's okay. right in here. And Spr- had- Sprague, by the way, got so horny, he left the Zoom. <laughs> he said it was too much for him, and that's the power of acting. Okay. Oh, my God. So, um, I'm Someone's in here. Look. Someone's in here. Uh, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> that's my other roommate, Bill Walton. Here, come back and look at the... See if you can see out back. I got the septic tank. I pulled it up out the ground. So, but he... <laughs> Why is he... Okay, I have so many questions. Why is he announcing someone's in there as though he's using the bathroom if the clo- toilet is totally clogged? That's just brought, Bill. Bill likes to take baths. And <laughs> he's probably taking he, a nice salt, Epsom well, salt he also, bath. He, he, a Epsom he, salt bath in the <laughs> shit up bathroom. Okay, he, got he it. He likes to poop like Tetris, where he's like fitting in between the stuff that's already there, you know? Okay. You all know so much about my bathroom habits. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. What well, you need I'm me to do now? I'm going to have you turn around, okay. Mr. Carl Barkley, and I'm going to take... <laughs> Cuck. Cuck. It's cuck with the H in there, yeah? Cuck. 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 Cuck Barkley. He's it's a cuck. Jewish cuck. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we have gone off the rails, retired train style. I, there were, speaking of rails, sir, I'm going to yes. need you to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't get to participate. Wait, All right, what's going sure. on? Okay, I'm turning. I'm turning around. What y'all about to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who did you want to turn around? Both of us. <laughs> I want everyone to turn around. <laughs> okay, we're turned around. Y'all don't Thank want me to look. <laughs> All right, we have our backs to you. Everyone's I guess Bill. T- Bill Walton has his front to the toilet now. <laughs> Bill, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> Bill, I would really appreciate it if you put clothes on right now. This isn't, I know what you think this is. You think you're going to run a train, but you're not because I'm the conductor. So you're going to have to exit the bathroom, Bill. Wow. Bill, you- one of the great dominations I've ever experienced. I will sub for you any day, Charlotte Horton. <laughs> 
tell me what to do. Step on me. I'll kiss your feet, whatever you ask. No, I actually want you to leave. This is not. This is not. Wait, yes, you want us to leave yes, too? Yes, yes, this... yes, ma'am. No, no, Bill, this isn't a sex thing. I need you to leave. Oh, baby, I'm out of here. Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> I was cooking some andouille sausage on the stove. Can I go check on it? <laughs> sure. All right. See you, Charles. I'll take care of the plumber. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Hi. Hi, ma'am. Hey. Okay. Hi, Scott. Your belt so, is so high. And it's it's on the last loop as well. <laughs> oh, that was a detail I didn't see. So uh, you want to get out of here? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Uh, get, uh, step into my uh, car. Uh, ding dong. <laughs> ding dong. <laughs> Oh, somebody a pizza, pizza delivery. Oh yes, I, I was I was just making some andouille sauce to put on this pizza <laughs> because I don't. Hey, like Charles, it. you can order it with pizza now. I don't I don't like the sausage, sausage they got down pizza. at that pizza place. I have a I have a sausage pizza minus the sausage. Yeah, I don't like the, I like the, I don't like the sausage that y'all got down at that pizza place. It's nasty. I, okay. I like to cook my own andouille. I put it over there. I make a cage of pizza. <laughs> Can we have two pieces in the car? <laughs> okay, your car sounds like a motorcycle, first of all. Yeah, it's specialty made. No, this is a specialty motorcycle. There made. are no doors. It's not specialty made. This Why are you going to blow up my spot like this? <laughs> this, is <a> motorcycle. <laughs> it's, this is a motorcycle, and there's one fucking seat, and I'm not getting in here with you. I'm going to fuck one of the guys in this house. So well, come on, but you're going to have to wait to about 30 minutes after I eat this pizza because I got to eat these. I got to take these antacids. <laughs> antacids. <laughs> we. I'm so sorry that we were unable to put lactate on the pizza. What? Y'all always getting something wrong down there. And every time that y'all bring me a, a, a salad, I ask for the salad. And y'all always got too many ingredients on the salad. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, use anyone? we use anything that's left over, anything that's about to go bad. We just put it in and call it a salad. Y'all put them big okay, old do, peppers on the salad. <laughs> yeah. okay, huh? Do any of you assholes care that there is a plumber with high waisted jeans and a six inch waist in your house right now, ready to fuck? We gonna or pay no? you, goddammit. We gonna give you the money. You got you ain't fixed the goddamn toilet yet. You told me we can't fuck oh. until the toilet's fixed. I was just gonna ask, like, do you have a restroom I can use? <laughs> no, we I ain't got one right now. Pizza man, you can come with me to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. I would love to. All right, give that pizza first. And scene. Whoa. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. comedy. That's the. Did that's I book the... it? <laughs> I think I you booked it. it. Yeah, you're yeah. on the show. We're not going to redact book, this. Book We're not going to redact. Cook. redact. Am I a series regular on Comedy Bang Bang? <laughs> you, Pro- you certainly probably are. Re- probably recurring. I can I can join in now. So. This is a porn podcast, after all, because everyone <laughs> seemed to know what the fuck they were doing. Yeah, we were very, very adept at, at our scene there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that you know, Sprague got too horny. He had to leave. Uh, and uh, we are just about running out of time here, guys. We, we, we need to wrap it up. Uh, guys, I want to thank you so much. Uh, Jason, so great to have you on. I appreciate Thanks you Thanks so much. Uh, Congratulations. Here. Happy anniversary. Of course. And uh, Charles and Rabbi Bill, I don't know whether we ever really solidified what your deal was, but I appreciate you being here. Oh, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> and, uh, you know, thanks to our previous guests as well. Uh, we have The Grizz and, uh, of course, uh, Byron Denniston and Sprague and Marjorie and Randy and Carissa. I don't think I'm uh, forgetting anyone. Dalton and then, uh, Wilcox. Dalton Wilcox, of course. And uh, I, I want to thank our new friend. Uh, we have uh, Charlotte Hornet here. Thank you so much, uh, for being you, on here. Scott. Hi, thanks so much. Oh, hey. so, so hi. you're pretty late to say hi. <laughs> to say, <laughs> thank you, though. Appreciate it. Yeah, hi. Uh, okay. And uh, the, the very last thing we have to do here is Manchester Orchestra. Thank you so much for having us. This has been amazing. It's our pleasure to have you. Uh, one of my favorite bands. Thank you so much. And what, what is this song uh, that you're about to play here? This one is called Telepath. Telepath. Is this about someone you know, uh, a relative or... Uh, it's about three generations of, of sort of the same couple. Okay. Oh, interesting. All right. Got a, uh, I'm not sure if that was the serious answer or it was, yes. Uh, Sorry, my leg, was first, but, no, uh, I was actually being serious it. there. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, no, that's all right. We, people can be, <laughs> everyone has been deadly serious on this episode. All right, let's hear it. Uh, you guys have your instruments. Okay, great. Uh, here we go. This is Manchester Orchestra with Telepath. One, two, three, four. <laughs> My 
mind you are an old empty apartment Sitting on your mother's table next to you is her Carving out our names into each piece of wood and concrete Told her I don't have a lot, baby You can have my soul Baby, do you want me? Baby, do you want me? Baby, do you want me? No, no, no Well, in your mind, this is some new and glorious morning You ain't never gonna let nobody take that light again Everyone I know is slowly falling in the ocean I don't wanna be the next to row. I never learned to swim. Baby, do you love me? Baby, do you love me? Baby, do you love me? No, no, no. Well, in my mind, you are the road I chose to travel. Might as well have been the very last thing I decide Half the time I'm lost, afraid to just borrow It don't matter much to me, man, I'm not afraid to die Baby, are you with me? Do you forgive me? You're the one I want, you want, I want when I'm old Baby, are you with me? Do you forgive me? You're the one I want, you want, I want when I'm old When I'm falling When I'm falling